Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the Saturday Night Livestream. Welcome one, welcome all. I hope you guys have had a great day so far and I hope it's about to get a little bit better. And I know that a lot of you have had a great day because today we had, earlier today, we had the Flying Forts Tournament, which was great fun. The, frankly, the explosions there were catastrophic in all the right ways. But today, or should I say tonight, we'll be playing some more Cosmeteer. We'll be restarting, we'll be doing Iron Man style. So once, once we are gone and dead, that will be the end of it. And we will be doing everything we can to not let that happen. But the first question is, what difficulty are we going to be playing on? By difficulty, I mean what damage multiplier, because that's how that works. So if we go over to career, we have different damage multipliers. We have captain, which is standard. You take normal damage and deal normal damage. You have admiral, which means you take 25 more percent damage and deal 20% less damage. And grand admiral, you take 40% more damage and deal 30% less. Frankly, I like the idea of Captain, because that way we can get railguns that penetrate in all the right ways, because making the enemies explode is half the fun. So I'm leaning toward that, but we're going to go ahead and put it up to a vote here for those guys. Let's go ahead and start a poll. What damage modifiers do we deal? No change. Minus 25%. What is it? What is the numbers? 25%? A deal 20% less or deal 30% less. So deal minus 20% or minus 30%. So I'll leave that pull up for you guys here. Ensign would be good. I am not interested in Ensign. I, I appreciate being able to familiarize myself with things by seeing how the damage is afflicted to me as well. So we'll have to uh, let you guys go there. Architect, whatever the standard is for this. Yeah, the normal. The normal for combat. <laughs> Looks like a vast majority prefer that we go with the standard. So it looks like, so we'll give that another moment or two before starting off. And the question is now, which variant, which starship do we start with? The Model L, oh no. It looks so vulnerable. Oh, to be fair, all of these look vulnerable. Um, I think because we are going, I want to go railguns heavy this time. Uh, so we'll start with the Model C, if only because it's um, kinetic. Kinetic based. Hello there. As Jonathan comes back and rejoins the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You've regained access to all the beautiful emotes here on the channel, as well as the special access role on Discord. Welcome back to the party. Alright then. Let us end this. It looks like we're at a whopping 67%. Looking for no change the standard, so we'll leave it standard, and then we'll start off. You feel it would be more fun for the difficulties to affect the number and size of the enemies. Just damage modifier seems kind of lame. I tend to agree. Alright, so we don't really have money or much other things. Let's go ahead and communicate with this system. This is Starbase, and we are just going to accept everything and just work off of it from there. So I think what I want to do, uh, aside from purchase ammunition, because apparently we don't have any, or at least not many, is uh, purchase some ammunition. Let's just fully load up here. Yeah, here we go. Also, what I want to do is I want to do renaming some of these guys. So we have some crew members. Let's uh, check them out, shall we? Let's see. I want to select the individual crew, not the... Why can't I select you?
Fair I have to press this button first. All right, so I think we, we want to rename a few of these guys, yeah? We customize you. Who who wants to be part of the players here we have? Awesome. To awesome and Toyota. We have... Y'all gonna live a long time, I can guarantee you that one. Awesome and Toyota, we have... Jonathan is Rahel. That's not how you spell that. Where did I get that spelling from? Seems more Semitic. Right, and then we have who else? Who else? So I know we don't have a great many people here just yet. The stream has only just started. regulars for <laughs> once I'm sure once uh, I'm sure once characters like crazy moose show up they will let themselves be known and they will gain a slot here <laughs> don't forget to include the main man nightbot that is a brilliant idea where's nightbot you are nightbot here in before tyrant bot shows up all right. Can even do hair color, hairstyle. I'm not going that deep into customization. Let's go ahead and kick it off. All right, so first off, we are looking for the nearest facilities. Let's go. Sacrifice the crew now. Oh no. Here comes. That doesn't even look like a proper hostile unit. It's so much as. Nope, it's moving. Okay. Wow, we already have Tritanium asteroids just laying around out here. That's unusual. Uncommon. All right, so here we have a basic ship here. Um, I kind of just want to go to the cockpits because if I do that, then what we get is more monies. Although it seems that at this range, I should have seen this one coming. The uh, cannons, less than ideal. Uh, we're aiming for the cannons now because my vessel is a little bit vulnerable to death. Uh, we are getting bullied on multiple fronts, which is not the ideal situation. There we go. Rotate, please. Good thing we have spare armor laying around because this could have started and ended very quickly. We are again getting fired upon on the side. Right. We just need to finish this quickly. Come on. Our engines are mostly out. And that's it. Okay, well that's really rather unfortunate. Um, sometimes that happens. Uh, so, good news. Uh, we didn't lose anything. <clears throat> uh, hello, space station. Let's collect all of these. Oh, hey, who wants to join the crew? And first, let's... Let's, uh... Don't know what I could have done about that, other than don't engage that. Um, probably run away at the first sign of the hostile forces. That's probably a list of things to do. Um, sometimes it just happens. All right, so here we have awesome Toyota. Welcome 
Welcome to the party. And we have... Tahu. 8,100. We have... Why are you not... Oh. I'm so confused. What? Why? It's reorganizing them as I'm typing. Okay. John Adam. Jonathan. Nightbot is right here. Okay, so we've got one more slot. Got a couple more options. We have well hello there. If it isn't Jian Kun Don coming in and joining the incursion. Congratulations, friend. You've gained access to all the beautiful emotes here on the channel, as well as the special access rule on Discord. Welcome to the party. <laughs> all right, then. Let's jump right into it, shall we? Once more into the fray. All right, so one ship this time, not three at the same time. I would greatly appreciate it. Hello with the music volume? I can. You should keep it around this new volume. As Jiang Kun Dong. Welcome, welcome. Have I ever seen snow? I have not seen snow, actually. I've tried a few times. Um, even been in temperatures that are less than zero and still never seen snow, which is saddening but it is what it is all right let's engage it's getting close like real close because we got cannons fire at will get real close like straight intimate with this come on thank you if we can take there we go all right excellent now I'll reload and um that counts as a bounty so we shall go collect this because we now have actually a couple resource slots available drive as well. Let's just turn this into a debris field and we can uh, collect from it as we need to. Hyper coils. Yeah, the best kind of coils. Could I make a deck cannon ship? That is absolutely possible. You should add rams. It would be fun. That would be interesting. That would certainly be interesting. Alright, next bounty, please. You love some cannons? Man out to my own heart. Where am I streaming from? Uh, United States, Eastern. So it's uh, an early evening here. You're on your fourth iteration of a deck cannon ship. Oof. Mm -hmm. 
this is uh, this is this is the problem we were having. Uh, random vessels coming from random directions, causing problems for us in the middle of combat. It would seem that this guy is in combat, or at least chasing a civilian craft. This particular variant of the starter ship is quite slow. It's been weird where you, the weather where you're at, as you have 70 degree weather. Lucky you. Ooh, a gold asteroid. Cool. Moving on. Alright, fine. We go this way and hope that other one doesn't come back in the middle of combat. I think it's coming back in the middle of combat. Let's get nice and close and personal. And we will target their munitions storage. Come on. This is not what we want our battle to look like. So we are again getting fought here. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the end of that. Um, we seem to have a chronic issue of um, winning our being able to win 1v1s but losing 1vx, which is kind of how early battles go. Um, hmm. That's, uh, I really, really need to be less gung-ho about combat if there is, uh, anything in render distance. It's, uh, like anything at all in render distance. Because they just, they swarm. Like, th those, weren't, those weren't even part of the bounty. Like, they were just nearby. Like, they were just nearby and decided now is the time to attack. And it's just like, oof. I think, actually, if I press this button, what happens? Oh, it glows. Great. Love to see it so we can keep track of it. Much better. Very, very much so better. So welcome one, welcome all. So used to having a well-developed ship and not the starter ship. And I'm like, oh, it's fine. There's something nearby. We could just get rid of it. No, 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 we can't. We are not. We are not there. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Okay. Toyota's driving, that's the issue. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what's going on here. Okay. Uh, we've got ammunition, we've got bounties. Let's go hunting and hope we don't get intercepted. By that I mean if we see something that's anywhere near intercepting, we literally just run away because it's a problem. Okay, we want to remove this as quickly as possible. It is tiny point defense based. All right. uh, this is, let's literally try to touch it if we can because it's point defense based. And uh, it'd be very difficult to break through if we don't literally get this close to it. All right, I think we took some explosion damage out of that. I think this game would uh, benefit from some sort of stream integration for names. 
I wonder, I wonder how that would best be handled. Okay, so we have one slot of open space and no material here worth grabbing, so we move on. Okay, I'm going to attempt to eliminate this because it is only one and it's probably faster than me. It isn't faster than me. And this is one of these that come hunting for you whenever you engage someone else. So, we're going to try to remove this. We engage here. And we get all the way in. Keep drifting this way so we can try to get both shots on it. There it is. Okay. Now we will go to the cockpit. Don't turn around. There we go. Got the cockpit. So now there should be some uranium here, probably. Let us harvest. Because uranium is expensive. There it is. You'll love to see it. All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten an opportunity to repair yet, uh, but we are under attack. Uh, so not all of our dudes are inside just yet. They're working on it. Now they're inside. And now we are engaging at super close quarters because this vessel was... Oh, we are no longer engaging at close quarters. We are backing all the way off. In fact, we are just leaving if we can. Because there's too many attacking from different directions. Alright, turn around, please. Before we lose everything. Thank you. This laser is plinking away at us. This vessel is faster than us, so there's no escape from this. There it is. Okay. Please repair. We cannot repair. Do not have the monies for it. Uh, is there enough floating around here for us to repair yet? Nope. Alright, I think we just pop this here. And we run all the way back to base. We have taken out two creatures. And we are being hunted now. And we do not have the ability to repair. Okay. See, look, it, it's hunting us where we were. Sadness. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, this does mean that we're going to have to buy our repairs, which is not ideal because that's all of our money. Um, I think we did complete a bounty, so we'll get a little bit out of it. So that's cool. Since this thing is still patrolling out here for us. Alright. Engage very close quarters, please. There we go. We are faster than it, at least in a straightforward direction. So we should be able to just blast it. There it is. Okay. And we saved its reactor, which is excellent. Let's go harvest it. And we panic if another one jumps on us. Okay, we can now repair. We got some processors. Let's grab this. Let's grab these. Is there anything else here that we want? We've got the expensive stuff. All right, we'll head back to here and grab the expensive stuff here. Oh. You had some expensive stuff, probably. Okay. And then you also had some expensive stuff, yes? Yes. Yes, you did. Excellent. 
This is just remnant goodie. Anything exceptional? No. All right. So that's good. We can undo this now. There's nothing really there I care about. Talk to the station and try to sell off some of these goods. I need ammunition. I do not need most of this other stuff. Processors, enriched uranium. As nice as it would be to have, it isn't super on the list of things to do. Let's pick up some more ammunition. All right, sweet. Now that we have fewer of those interceptors patrolling around, maybe we can actually clear this out without getting backstabbed twice in a row. Let us engage. I'm actually going to adjust one of the camera settings here. Gameplay, scroll down to point picture in picture mode. Is that under camera? Picture in picture. Auto. Yes. Excellent. You want to get all the way in there. Yeah, look at this. It's got a laser blaster and another, another laser blaster. Honestly, we go straight to the core here, as it's probably the most exposed thing. It's behind a single stack of armor. Uh, we are a little close. There, it's better. We don't want to get caught in the blast. Okay. We went through one layer of ammunition, so we'll pick up this guy. Pick everything else up. Sweet. Oh, there's some uranium out there. Oh well. Processor is fine. Engage. Chase it down. Let us go. This thing is... Whatever we're chasing... Is... Ever so slightly faster than us, and it's seemingly insistent on going in a straight line away from us. Why is it running? Um... Yeah. That one might come for us, though. We just don't... No, it's not coming for us? Okay. No, no, I think we, we don't chase when there's multiples patrolling around here. We head back to the next bounty. Let's engage this one. There's a couple of civilian craft. There's a couple of civilian craft rolling through here, it would seem. Which is an interesting... <laughs> they're turning around running away from the military. From the uh, the pirate. Oh no. And what are you besides bounty? Let's get nice and close and personal. Go cannons, go. Go cannons, go. Boop. You know, you get the nice point-blank experience with these. Everything works out better, yeah? All right. Let's break everything apart, boot up the goodies. Rearm everything. Here, if we move you to here, we get an extra slot, which means I can pick up uranium. And that's it, okay. Nice. Can you become a pirate if you wanted? Yes. That's totally not what we're doing right now. It's, uh... We would never pillage other vessels for their booties. Oh, another one of these guys. We know these are fairly simple to bully, although they are quite fast. It seems that 
It was the one coming to me. I wasn't the one charging at it. Like, I wasn't able to get away from it. Not that I was keen to get away from it, but I didn't want to be that close to it. Sweet. Do you wonder if they had automatic inventory management? Uh, it's a good question. Carbon. Nice. Not touching that. You're a bounty hunter, basically a legal pirate. Yeah. Is this game still actively updated, developed? Yes, it actually just had a release on Steam last week. Last week? I think it was last week. All right. Uh, let's see what we've got at the station now. We've got some more monies. Uh, I do... <sighs> question here is... How expensive is the railgun? Hmm. Most of our monies. Half of our monies. We're also going to need that. Don't need these yet. Or those. Cannon ammo factor is interesting to me. We may have to invest in... Last patch was yesterday, was it? I know they had a patch between its release on Steam and now. I don't remember when it was. They added this beautiful button, which is amazing to me. Like, I don't know how. It's just, that was like the obvious choice that wasn't listed, that wasn't part of the release, and everyone's like, wait a minute. Where is my new ship button? Alright, let's... I think I want to immediately redesign this. How about we do... Right, let me delete... Why can't I... Thank you. Let's just immediately adjust this, yeah? And what happens if... Oh, this takes tri-steel. There's no way. There, there's no way that we have the funds. It's already, this is already pricier than we can afford. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, never mind. Um. Let's do, I guess we st just do some more basic cannons, yeah? Point defense on the weaponry. Say the double forward cannon is not a bad idea, but I'll do that. I'll add one of these here. Armor. Chonky armor. Like so. This will save on repair costs by a lot. We'll get our one capacitor, our one reactor here, and then engine goes here, 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 and here, so we can maneuver in every direction. Um, if I were to move this here, what does this look like? This should help save on repair costs even further. Uh, we need a corridor here. Then we just need internal components, yeah? And ammunition. Um, the ammunition walk from here is kind of bad. I think we need to have this moved out here. Just so we have ammunition storage adjacent to this. At least something, because we'll, we'll run out in the middle of combat, which also just means that we slide this up here and problem solved. Okay. So at this point, we should be good to simply add in the rest of the goodies, such as the flies, the cockpit here, front and center. 
the worst that could happen, right? Right. Um, it's like putting up batteries next to your core every time. Oh, nothing, right? All right. We need corridor going here at least. Um, I could slide these two up here and just have that one engine. Let's do that. That's not ideal, but it'll work. And it'll shorten us up a little bit. And then crew goes here. This is asking for a lot of crew, isn't it? It's a good space for hyperdrive, but instead we shall put... Ooh. will be fine. We can start with a brick, I suppose. Going for more lasers? You could say that. Hmm. How much... How much armor do we want here? We have big wedges and little wedges. I like it. It's so pretty. We can get spiky and everything. Here, we'll just smooth that off a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. We got a big old hole in the middle of the, of the vessel here. Uh, we can turn this into standard storage for now. So we'll have ammo storage here, reserve ammo here, and now we simply need doors. Go here and then here, 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 and here. There you go. We need a fire extinguisher, which goes here, and we need a an airlock, which goes here. A door for each. Problem solved. Uh, kind of expensive, so we're not going to do this. But Uh, so we're not making that change for a hot second. Do I know of or play Kingdom Hearts? Uh, I am aware that Kingdom Hearts is a game that exists. It's not a list of things that I've played. <laughs> Just swing the core mid combat. This is a point defense platform, so we want to get nice and close. Now, are you also a plat? This also looks like a platform, which is why I'm not running away like a coward. Oh my god, we're gonna have to. It did enough damage that we can't repair without harvesting it. Sadness. We're going to harvest it real quick. Did the devs have boarding ships as a planned feature? If I recall correctly, yes. Excellent. Okay, can we repair now? Yeah. All right, then. So we need 604 metal, 115. We should be able to collect a lot of that here. That's it's a lot. Engage. Open fire. Um, I probably want to get closer so it doesn't splash its damage around. Alright. This is fine. We harvest this guy. Excellent. The way crew works in this game, it would greatly surprise you if they don't add boarding as a feature. I know, right? Okay, 
so at the end of this, after we've expended our ammunition, we just need to collect things like steel and, uh... Oh, but why is there so much? This is also overlapping with the bounty. Okay, so we don't want to get too close to this, actually. Because if we get close, then we suffer... Yeah. Yeah. Why is it not coming after us? It is it's strafing around. It's just looking at us funny. Real funny. Okay, so we've ignited this. Hopefully that burns down. We're gonna back way up because I don't know why this thing isn't attacking us right now and it concerns me. This game is multiplayer. We'll be doing multiplayer. Uh not now. Um, although I am very tempted to do so. Uh, how do I want to handle this? Because there's just things lurking there waiting for me to turn around so they can jump on my rear end. This has been a reoccurring trend. Looks like this has basically burned to a crisp. So we're going to ignite it a little more. And it's gone. This says, yep, yeah, this has decided now is the time to come in. Completely understandable. It looks like it's actually out of cannon ammo. Maybe that's why it wasn't coming in. I didn't notice it was out of cannon ammo before. So we're just going to pound it. Oh, it got more ammo. It's not lining up its... Okay. Doesn't matter now. Come on. Break it. Break it. There we go. Ooh. How much ammo do we have left? We've got two... Two and a half stack. We've got three stacks. We are in engagement range here. This thing does not have an energy shield. It's got one. I think, I think we've got this. Uh, we have... Sp Our thrusters are looking pretty beat up. But... Everything else is looking okay. I think as long as we get close and melee this thing, uh, we should be pretty all right here. I'm going to target this laser blaster specifically because I am not confident that we can defeat this creature before it does critical damage to us if I don't. Namely, if it removes... Oh, come on. Fire this. Okay. I need you guys to fire this. Fire this way. Thank you. Alright. Now you can engage this. There it is. So we are running real low on ammo, which also means that we have lots of open space around here. So that we can uh, harvest everything. And fill our storages with uh, the goodies that we so desire. Storage full. How is storage? Oh, right, because we have this locked to ammunition. However, you go here, you go here, you go here. Okay, so now we should have plenty of space for the expensive goodies, like Hyperium. Well, everything for one. Collect harvests. Good. Now. The sucker. It's got a lot of goodies here and some uranium to go with it. It's expensive. It's beautiful. Do I want to expel my ammo to grab additional stuff? I want to expel anything else to grab additional stuff. I think... Well, Alright, what am I missing here? 15 of those. The wires are... Or the coils are more expensive than steel. By how much? I 
you don't know. You have 12 here. 50. Yeah, we just grab all the coils we can. Okay, we'll head back here. Well, hello, that guy. Welcome, welcome. Congratulations, you've rejoined the incursion. Getting access to all the beautiful emotes here in the channel as well as these special access roll on Discord. Welcome back to the party. I could we eject some more steel? Eject steel. Collect. Coil. Actually, I do believe we can get you set up here with the original crew before we purchase more. I said click, customize, nope. this so now we have a star on you excellent because we do have nope just coils here okay so anything else I should harvest here I don't think so auto save Yep, some more coils. Great. Is that a hyper coil? It's a hyper. No, it's a regular coil. Is it still worth? It's still worth. Get out. Harvest coil. There we go. Okay, let's head back. We should be able to purchase the basic restructuring now. Is there room for you two? You're already in there, Tahu. At least you should be, unless something terrible happened to you. Let's see, where is Tahu? Yep, there you are. You're in the bunk in the back. Okay. Now, let us... Yes, we can just make this so. This only costs lot but it's worth it though uh let's see so now we can get the rest of our goodies i think we just sell the uranium and processors for now unless you want to make a freighter I think we sell. Regardless, we're not going to be able to hang on to a lot of this for now. So we just sell this. Sell everything, actually. Just straight everything. Get some money for it, and we'll have to go recollect later. Use the money to purchase some crew. We're up to a lot of crew. Uh, we also need some ammo. Uh, let's get how many stacks? Need six stacks. That's more than six stacks. Uh, that's uh, ten stacks, but this is fine. All right, so we should be able to survive a bit better now. Um, I'm not convinced we can do well from uh, getting sandwiched, but everything else should be fine. Yeah. We have some full frontal con- Yeah, yeah, you see? This is... a problem. Okay. Oh god. Oh, they're coming for me. All right. Let's go. I think they're fighting each other here. So what's going on? This guy's got disruptors, which is going to shut down my energy shields, but I don't have much else to concern myself with, so. Like my energy shields are not a significant part. Oh, they're not a requirement. 
Warning. Nuclear launch Gonna keep firing. Nuclear launch coming in from Gunner. All right, that's one down. Let's get nice and close and personal here. I started playing this game after watching you play this, and I'm having fun with cannons and planning on testing nukes. It's so fun, <laughs> Yes. Also, are you playing multiplayer? Yes, they are. I am not playing multiplayer at the moment. They're attacking, my friends. Okay. All right. Let's harvest this up. Wow. Okay, that bounty didn't survive. The civilian won that engagement. That's funny to see. Let's go. Honestly, I think I want to get a freighter and go heavy into mining. Have I thought about joining an official tournament? I've thought about it. Uh, I didn't think about it very long. I, I'm aware they do tournaments. I have seen some of them, actually. But uh, I, I haven't made an effort to doing so, and I've pretty sturdily convinced myself out of it. Perhaps at some point I could be convinced into it. I am simply not interested at the moment. Mm. Oh, it's coming in hot. All crew are online. Here it comes. Yeah, I'll go straight to the cockpit here, I think. This is one where we want to get in close because we have energy shields that can hold the line. And as long as it doesn't splash its damage around, then we won't have to worry about it bypassing the energy shields. Warning. Okay. Nuclear launch detected. As Luke comes in with the support, what happened to the Doomba? It boombud. <clears throat> If you check the uh, the end of the last Cosmere Tear stream, you can find out for yourself to see it. In a, it exploded in glorious fashion. In all the right ways. Okay. Uh, we've got the expensive goodies. Let's eject this. There we go. We'll just make a trip back to the station real quick. Warning. Detected. Oh, hello. Nuclear launch coming in from Toyota. Nuke train. Oh no. <laughs> Why are you like this? Yo, nuke train. Uh, hello there, Hawklight. Welcome to the chat. PDs are energy based. Uh, I. Th Pretty certain it fires a kinetic projectile for all intents. I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, there's no. It, it's a whitelist as to what weapons cause fires. So, like, it could. I don't. I don't know what it does or does not. I know cannons don't. I mean, so I know cannons cause fires, railguns, really anything that, and also anything that explodes inside, like reactors and such, will ignite fires. All right. How much money do we have? Not enough is the answer. Uh, let us go... We're not destroying a pirate base right now, that's for sure. Let's go contact this station for some monies, yeah? After... After inspecting this guy. Let's inspect this, then this, then this. So we can get the exploration bonus as well. On top of it. You downloaded this game a few days ago and now you're hooked? Yeah... Hello again, Nadia. Welcome, welcome. So we have a an extraneous base here we can purchase things from. Oh, what are we on ammo? We're good on ammo. We've got extra space. It's fine. We're just going to navigate over here, then over here. 
<laughs> Doom -ba -boom -ba it did, it did. So, funny story, it actually survived, for those who didn't catch the last stream, it actually survived. Um, by that I mean when it its reactors exploded, it sent the parts, its internal, its uh, giblets into various directions, largely intact. So there were entire segments. One of the ion arrays, I'm not sure which one, but one of the ion arrays and its entire crew stayed alive. Oh god, this thing is coming in real hot. Uh, as well as one of its storage bat arrays. So. It was literally able to just slap some engines onto it, fly it over to the station with its storage is intact and press the repair button <laughs> because we happen to have enough storage space <laughs> to just make up the difference. It's surprisingly effective, I suppose. But it was defeated in combat. I'll put it that way. Warning, nuclear launch detected. Nuclear launch? Come in from gunner. How are you doing? Oh, I just got a railgun and it keeps getting deleted by enemy ships that hit it and any tips to help out <laughs> did I hear nuke train? <laughs> but railguns so strong though, especially when they get shot and explode down the entirety of the spine of your ship. Hello. What are you doing over here? Oh, there's so many. All right, there's combat happening all over this place. Um, I can't tell which factions are on which, because the reds are not necessarily on the same team. They are not on the same team, and this guy is against us. Everyone's in a free-for-all, except for me and the other civili and the, uh, civilian craft, which are working together here. Okay. Blow out these cannons if possible. Actually, this reactor is just directly exposed. And the civilian craft. Fanged fighter, I guess, less civilian than than uh, small. It's a little star fighter came in to help clear up clear up the problem. You haven't got to see me live since before the plague. Oh no. Okay, so nothing but iron left. Well, there's a lot more here. A lot. There's not really that much more here. But we are out of space, so we are heading to the station. We're going straight to the station. What early weapons do you think are pretty decent? Uh, I've not yet to find a weapon that isn't decent. Is there another retrofit already designed? Nope. Although I think I'm going to do a, um, a hauler next. So, we won't have a retrofit design for some time. Hello. I guess we're taking a quick pit break here. For combat. Quick combat stop. Those are already missiles flying at us. Great. you love to see it. Okay. Fortunately, we are... Well... I guess missiles are coming from behind. Is an endless problem. God, please remove things faster. So those missiles are going to do terrible, terrible damage to us. All right, come on, rotate this way. I don't know what this thing's rotational capacity is, but okay, let's do this side then. So those missiles are going to hammer us if we don't break it quickly. We've ignited the missile launcher. God. We are not prepared to take hits like that from the side. Um, so that ruined a lot of our thrust power here. I think we can get the thrusters operational. Kind of. Mostly. Hypercoils. Do we not have the coils for this? We don't. Okay, well, uh, let's just limp on over to the starbase. 
right on over here and uh, go hit that repair button over there and they finally make the ability to add uh, to add fleet carriers that would be awesome how am I doing I'm doing very well I've thoroughly enjoyed myself today got to encounter three uh, interesting specimens of human example one of the things I like to do in my uh, downtime is to just go out into the world and observe the humans in their habitat mostly bars and such or just sit down restaurants good times were had all right, so I think we want to build a hauler. So let's go ahead and design a hauler real quick. How much do you cost to do things? So first off, you are made out of storages, mostly. So we have you here. Uh, let us do, this is gonna be like near completely undefended, so. Set this up here, we want thrusters. I know it's not. Oh, I see. We were not in blueprint mode. Why does it allow you to do things not in blueprint mode? It just seems like a mistake. Um, did I go to Walmart? No, no, no. I'm a Floridian. Walmart is how people die. That place actually scares me. No, I found equally wild people in less stereotypically terrifying locations. Okay. This is expensive, and we don't need this much, that's for sure. Basic. Does that count as armor? I don't know if that counts as armor. Don't think that counts as armor. Um, so this is expensive, and we are going to not play with that. Uh, however, this, on the other hand, uh, because apparently this exists now. You know what? Discard modifications. can't abandon this. Why can't I abandon this? I can't blow it up because that's not how friendly fire works. Can I undo until it doesn't exist anymore? Or have we already gone too far? I can! Sweet Jesus. Alright. Uh, that lives there now. We need some more cash. All right, we've already collected all of these. Let's go. Let's get some cash and crew to go with it. Yeah. Well, look who's here. If it isn't a crazy bears. Why is it so fast? Okay, I guess we're backing up a lot. Like, all the way. Well, hello there. Somewhere there's an O where superheroes exist. In Florida, man is an Omega level threat villain. <laughs> the kind where the best solution is leaving him alone. <laughs> oh, jeez, that sounds. That just sounds hilarious to me. Oh, no. How are you doing today, Crazy Moose? So I can't hurt this thing, unfortunately, so I'm just taking hits to the energy shield, which 
is fine, but I'm trying to back it up all the way to the space station if possible. Unfortunately, we seem to be locking ourselves to half speed for reasons unknown to me. Um, we only have a fraction of our thrusters firing. Which might have something to do with the way the autopilot is handling center of mass. Discharge, he'll tire eventually. I, you know, we've been, we've had it on full burn this entire time. And it hasn't tired yet. So. Why? I'm telling you to go backwards. Why are you not, why are you thrusting forwards? Please. Just go backwards. Well, it can't hurt us, so I guess technically it probably can. But we've got we've got shields. Okay, it's leaving us alone now. So we leave it alone because we can't hurt the thing. So we go somewhere else. There we go. Do strafe instead of retreat? I'm not retreating. I'm strafing backwards. I can't damage it. I can't damage it because I can't catch it. It is nimble to the point where it's staying outside the range of my weapons. And that's just the end of that story. I can't get in range, I can't even get out of range of it. It's like a hard lock to my orbit. You should have rotate to an asteroid. Yeah, that could work. I didn't. I suppose there were asteroids that we flew past, I didn't consider that. Okay, so we. Didn't expend any ammunition in that, which is nice, but also we should probably get some ammo. Because I forgot to restock our ammo. Fortunately, we didn't need it, but like, yikes though. That could have been bad. Okay, we are now full up on ammo. Let's go to not there. Let's go over here. See what's on this guy. <laughs> Sounds like a real gun shaped problem. I tend to agree. Hello, coming in hot out of nowhere. Coming in for the head on 1v1. Alright, what are you? It's got disruptors. Uh, let's just strip it of weapons. I like seeing the cannons overpenetrate the entirety of the, of the ship. Okay. If we can break this laser, the laser blaster, then it has no damage dealing weapons. Which is good. And then we can pick it apart one at a time. Alright, we'll go this way, see if we can get a couple hits on the cockpit. There it is. Beautiful. We took a little bit of damage to our armor, but nothing really else. Harvest all the things. Get the rich ones, and move on. You missed the Doom Roomba? Oh no. Do AI ships keep respawning? No. You just notice the storages have an external door animation? Yes. Uh, when your crew goes to dump things in the storages from the outside, uh, they don't go inside the ship and then dump off the items. They just dump it directly into storage. Oh god, it's this again. Uh, so I think that we, we want to immediately start strafing here, which we can actually do bef at, you know, for now before the missiles start causing problems for us. Uh, try to get shots onto this diagonal. 
We're getting hits on the cockpit and the missile launcher right now. And there it is. Oof. So glad we have this ostensibly ablative armor here because that was... Missiles are terrifying. It does so much damage, man. Okay. Can I not? I need to undo this. Release the steel, please. So I can turn it into repair parts. Thank you. Is so there anything else here I need? No. It's just fuel left over. So we ignore this one because this one is terrifying. <clears throat> Let's uh, move on. <laughs> Those cannons have hardly any firing arc. Yes. You are correct. The cost of PD prohibitive this early? No. I'd go so far as to say PD is the most cost efficient this early. Because it's the it is a time where PD is actually consider can be considered as a weapon and defense at this point in time. Oh, oh no. Uh, well, there's an asteroid here. Maybe, maybe we can let it hit our back for a little bit. We can boost over here real quick. Turn around. No break our thrusters, please. Turn around. Thank you. All right. Let's, uh, I forget what the, here we go. Let's strafe here. Do this. It's, uh, this is not okay. Maybe if we bring it to an entire asteroid field or just get out. Oh no. Okay. Uh, let's 8x this because we know it's not going to. Oh, jeez. Just. There we go. Strafe out of there. Thank you. Okay, so. Nope. Just don't do it. You don't want this. So if it comes to the station, it's going to have a bad day because this, this station's got weapons. But, like, I can't deal with that thing. Okay. So we have two regions there that we can't deal with right now. Sell off all these. Get some more cash out of that. Replenish on ammunitions. And two, which one is this? I think it actually tells us. No, it's okay. So this is another missile launcher. There's some missile launcher dude over there causing some problems for these guys. So let's go clean that up. <clears throat> Hello? We just have a random interceptor out here, it looks like. This is not the same vessel, I believe. It is a... It is the same vessel, but... Um, here, maybe I can convince it into an asteroid, or into the space station. It's the same vessel, but not the one that was terrorizing these guys. Okay. Go this way. There we go. Now we chase it in. Chase it into the space station, please. The 
this way. There we go. It is way faster, but I can zone it into death. Yeah. Good luck with that one. Look at this. This is what justice looks like. This is justice right here. Okay. Yep. Yep. Hey, there we go. And we took largely inconsequential damage. Okay. Did we even fire a shot? We didn't fire a single shot. Oh my god. Big shock. And all of that. Alright, well. Thank you for lending me your ammunition. Uh, that, we didn't, we didn't, we need to do more of those. There's still more of them floating around out there causing problems. You hear this game has multiplayer? It does have multiplayer. It works very much so like single player, but with multiple persons. You know, I should probably mark that if we're going, because we're going to do... We're likely going to do mining. Power of friendship? Yes. Very much so. Hello? What are you? Oh! Alright. Uh, engage this one. This one, please. It's getting bullied by this civilian craft. Maybe it's a systems defense agent. It is getting bullied quite hard. And... Like, it, was, it was only half of a ship when we found it. And it was a tiny little starfighter that took that... Oh, God. Alright, let's repair. Inconsequential damage. Uh, let's see if it had any goodies in there. I think its backside got blown out. It, it did. There's probably not much here worth looting, but we'll check it out anyways. Okay. Yeah, we hardly have to... We hardly used any ammunition in that, which is convenient. Cost efficient. Let us go. What are you? What are you, though? Oh, yeah, this is the missile guy. Okay, so we want to get close. And we want to do this. Strafe to the side. And try to aim over here. We're strafing a little hard. There we go. We have a limit on the speed at which we can strafe while still having a firing solution. And both cannons are active. There we go. I think we didn't take heinous damage. We only lost two of our thrusters. Ugh. Nuclear launch coming in from Crazy Moose. Hello, hello. Then answer is always more gun. Even if you say maneuverability or armor, what is armor but the frame of a gun? What is a thruster but a gun that propels more gun? <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. All right, let's get this out of here. Repair up, and then we harvest not basic steel. Carry that with us. Alright. Um, let's go turn this in, and then we will go visit the next station. Hello? What are you? Please don't be... Oh, it's fast. I don't want to deal with it. Moving on.
let us go. Ow. We're going to head long into an asteroid. Okay. Collect monies. Okay, so what I want to do... Build a new ship. We had some extraneous goodies here. A blueprint mode. Thank you. Uh, let's add three storages. Followed by... A cockpit. Followed by... Basic necessities, such as... One, two, three, four, five, six. That should get us basic movement. Um, we can throw this here. We don't really need to worry about too much more about that, I suspect. I like this song. It's very Pink Panther. Hmm. This is still more than we can afford, even just this, by a lot. We don't even have crew involved. Yuck. Okay, so we need to stay in this system and farm it for some time longer. Uh, let's actually just create a layout here, then because we're clearly going to be here for some time. I am missing crew, and I am also missing... The thrusters are okay. Won't be particularly mobile, but it'll work. We will want all of the mining equipment at some point soon but for now actually this is this is just pretty all right as it is and we'll make it blockier and bigger as time goes on Okay, and this should just function as is. It costs 50,000. Uh, a hefty chunk of that is going to be hypercoils. So we need to collect hypercoils, we need to collect processors, and we need to collect... Uh, actually, we have the processors. Uh, so we need two uranium, 14 hypercoils, and uh, some uh, copper. We've got the copper. We don't have the uh, coils. So we need coils, hypercoils, uranium, and uh, steel. That steel is going to be simple. Uh, let's go ahead and add in the crew quarters. Where do I have? Where do I want to put crew quarters? Did not consider this. Uh, let's. Do this here. Two will be fine. That way we can eventually just do this like so. Not that we need to do that right now. Crew quarters. That's probably enough crew quarters. Kind of want to expand this one further out. That way we can have a corridor down each side. Like this. That should work nicely. This can then go double, which makes it look even better. We'll have a corridor running here. No, a corridor running here. is going to be particularly explosive, but it'll be fine. Famous last words. This can be hyperdrives later. For now, simply corridor. Mm. 
we'll work with this. I'm most definitely going to be stripping it down. Uh, but for now, let us just save this as is, as... What do we want to call this? The Harvester. Okay. Hmm. I could paint it. We can't paint it. Okay. So we just need some of those goodies, yeah? Alright. Well, we know what we need. Uh, let us go harvest. Collect. We've got ammunition. We can sell these and this. Hypercoils, I will go eject in that location. Also means we're probably actually going to need to put some material storage here. I'll go collect some more ammunition and move on. Collect ammo. Go to the next area. We'll probably have to add some temporary storages for later reasons. I'm so glad ADX speed is a thing. It's, it is nice. I made a xenomorph ship. Oh no. Alright, what are you? Uh, lacking in offensive firepower, so hopefully you no know, one needs to uh, ever engage you in combat for any reason because that could be particularly unfortunate for everyone involved we don't need crew and we don't need bullet right now all right let's go figure out what's over here aside from probably a lot can you control multiple ships at once yes yes you can Oh, hello, coming in hot. Um, this is not either of these bounties over here. This is just a random thing that does not like me. So we are going to try to charge at it and away from where is likely the locations of the other two things. All right, so this is this has got big damage coming at us here. Um, Can I break through this shield? The answer is... No. Um... Uh-oh. Um... Okay, so we're going to have to get a little risky here. How far away were we from the station? Is this thing faster than us? It's got three engines facing. It may very well be faster than us. Fortunately, our shields come online quickly. We are able to poke around its shield, but it outpaces us quickly uh, in terms of the strafe. We're also up getting chased now by a new creature. Uh, I think we're dead here. Our shield is exposed. See if we can't have our side hole take the hit. It is most definitely faster than us. Um, unfortunate. Looks like we were unable to start a fire. Hmm. 
Our shields are back online, whatever that's worth. Let's see if we can't strafe this way. Head toward the station. The other thing that was coming to attack us is interrupting this, which is good for me, specifically. For reasons. Alright, let's rotate this way. I said rotate this way. I said rotate this way. Thank you. There's so many of them. Like, wh Our shields are just down. How is this creature looking? Wounded. Alright. Go, 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 go. This way, please. Uh, we are going to be losing crew here, I think. I don't know that I can stop this. Good lord! This is how... This is how bad happens. Um... I really want to stay here for the crew to come back. Okay, they're gone. Oh god. Okay. We can do no repairs. Oh boy. Kick the hornet's nest? Apparently. Uh, I would say it was a hornet's nest, but it really wasn't even a hornet's nest. It was just literally random, random patrols stopping around. All right, so that's unfortunate. It's like going outside towards the hornet's nest and not making it because you get attacked by seven bears. Or, you know, I think more accurately a bear, or a lion, a tiger, and an alligator in the process. And then not even making it to the hornet's nest. Okay, so we survived. Um, that was expensive. That went from a one-on-one -on -one to a one-on-three way fast. Yeah, those weren't even the targets I was looking for. That was just random creatures meandering about. Okay, uh, so we lost three crew, that's unfortunate. Welcome to the party. Uh, we did expend a hefty chunk of our ammunition. Did we learn some good lessons there? I didn't learn anything there, I don't know what you- I don't know what lessons you think that were, there were, were there to learn. If there were lessons there, I didn't catch them. Alright. Alright, um... Let's try over here. Mm -hmm. Here comes death, here comes disaster. All right. What have you got here? Besides small and largely insignificant. All right, one down. Get closer, please. Just go straight to the cockpit because it's largely unarmored. It's shutting down my shields. It's so much faster, but it's not trying to get actually away. It's trying to stay in close range. There we go. Okay. We good? Okay, there's no more hostiles on radar. Let's harvest. Okay, we found hostile on radar. We got repaired. Mm -hmm. Because lesson is luck is a wonderful thing. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting out of it. Are you two fighting? Those two are fighting, but they're civilians. Why? Road rage is a thing. This thing is fast and I hate it already. Okay. This seems to be the fastest ship in the system. I mean, we're the tankiest thing in the system. Although I could use a bit more firepower for sure. Alright, so large cannon, that's terrifying. Let's blow it up. Actually, 
This is going to have more. It's going to have a 12k HP. This is going to have much more, much less than the 6k HP. Let's engage this because this explodes nicely. So it's going to be his ammunition reserves. Uh, definitely in closer though. Wow, that thing blew through. That one cannon blew through my uh, energy shield very quickly. But now... Nope, nope, not what I wanted. Now our regeneration is up. Our fire extinguisher is working overtime and our shields are holding. It takes a while for our crew to get to the... Um, to the energy shield. But once they are present, they can hold about anything. Which is good. You no, know, anything shy of a disruptor, at least. We are not threatened by a single laser blaster, so we will go to the reactor and detonate. Sweet. You love to see it. Repair up. Not an insignificant chunk of damage, but Less damage than the loot we gain from this. Okay, so I don't... I think I really don't need... Hyperspace fuel. But it's good to sell, so we shall go do that. Alright, how much ammo do we have? Half of our reserve. Hopefully this thing isn't... Wild fast. It seems to be wild fast. It's got an energy shield, which we know we can't really break through. Uh, how am I supposed to... Oh, no. All right, uh, I don't know what, I'm guessing it's going to come straight at us, so I will go ch attempt to go point blank with this. I said I will attempt to go point blank with this and rotate to the side so that we can get some of our armor taking those hits. And then rotate to the other side. It is no longer coming straight at us. We go this way. All right, and we back all the way up, preferably to that station. We take this way. About to have some very serious damage dealt to us here, you guys. Come on. Let's head straight on for now. Oh, jeez. As I'd rather it not hit our thrusters, which are now exposed. Oh, it's hitting our cannon. Oh, okay. We have to now fly sideways. We can't be taking any more hits like this. Like, entirely sideways. This way, please. This way, please. Okay. I don't want to have to rotate around right now. Okay, we... The station has engaged. And has immediately extracted vengeance upon it. Ow. Hide. Oh! Okay. Um... We have... We have a problem. We are incapable of dealing with things faster than us. Just entirely incapable of dealing things faster than us. Um, 
Oh god. How much crew did we lose? One. Oh. That's not so bad. I guess that's what happens when you uh, don't try to fight. Okay, um, well, that wasn't ideal. Hmm. I think I need, before anything else, a new design here. Because this is simply unacceptable. All right, let's grab a small amount of ammo here, just so we can stave things off a little bit. Just a couple stacks. I'm going to go fly over here where we have, we accidentally ejected a bunch of stuff. And then what we're going to do is, I think we're going to go over here and start mining. I'm going to turn it to a holler for a while. <clears throat> yes, that's one thing we haven't done, because I have two options. I can redesign the ship such that we have bigger cannons and such. Or I can redesign the ship such that we go mining. We haven't done mining before. We've done big cannons before. Big cannons, I know, works pretty well. Or, you know, more weapons in general. So we've traditionally done. I think we're going to go mining for a bit. Let's let's try that. So if that's the case, I'm going to go have you chill over here. And let's bring up the blueprints. Let us load, replace existing the harvester that we were checking out. This we can now do. Uh, let's go ahead and add in fire extinguisher, crew hatch. Okay, uh, for now, let's shave this down a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Big open space all over this place. We'll make it so. You guys good? Great. Uh, how much for the mining laser? We just have no weapons at this point, which is terrifying. I've never done a no weapons thing before. Uh, let's see, the mining laser. I can get it. Go get some gold. Go harvest some goodies. Should I have any amount of weapons? I don't know that I can afford weapons, to be honest. Um, so I think we just don't try to afford weapons. Okay. What I am going to do, however, is assign some basic crew roles. Laser operator. Uh, you guys can be yellow. Job priorities is mining laser 10, 10, and you guys specifically don't do salvage and mining. Or gathering resources. Which I know is inefficient, but I want those lasers online at all times. We've seen what happens if you don't. Laser operator goes here. 
All right, and while we are here, let's go ahead and grab a little bit of crew. Just to increase this and turn everything on. Everything is on. Harvest. Sweet. And let's sell off literally everything we have. For bonus monies. And with our monies... We get more crew? Nope, we're maxed. Okay, so we have a gold asteroid here. 30 KMS, oh no. If we get attacked, we're not going to be able to run away. It would be cool if we did need a mining laser. Uh, so, you don't need a mining laser to harvest. So, you need a mining laser to harvest asteroids don't necessarily need a mining laser to harvest everything in the game. So this is just raw gold, which is good. Uh, everything else we'll just go have to check out nearby asteroid field. There's a fair bit of those lying around. I'm going to go sell this off real quick. Because if we can get some basic processing going, that would be amazing. How much does this raw gold sell for? 11k. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, materials processing. How about we do steel manufactory? Coil manufactory we can't afford yet. But this should enable us to do blueprint mode. Blueprint mode. It doesn't look like a safe ship. Big shock. Not a safe ship. This thing is big. Uh, what does it require? Hypercoils, standard coils, and steel. Alright, that's a heap load of hypercoils. So I'll have to come back to that later. But let's go mining. Because I mean, that's something we haven't done in a while. We haven't gone mining. So let's do that. Have I played Terratech? I've not played Terratech, no. Can you sell materials that are floating nearby? What's actually on board your ship? Only what's on board your ship. However, the floating materials are considered usable for construction and such. So it is a simple matter of telling them to harvest whatever is nearby and then going from there. Is this just a jump pad? Yes. Let's collect all of these. You're currently playing Core, core Keeper. I've heard good things. I've heard good things about that. Need more power? Do I really? Alright. So we are going to probably hyperspace fuel because it's rich. Uh, I don't, we don't have steel, so we're looking for... Oh, no, no, don't follow that. I guess anything here, really. But hyperspace fuel is good for money. How much for comparison? Let's... Oh, uranium. Cool. Uh, for comparison, how much does this steel give us? Other than not much. Iron sells for 10 apiece. Hyperium sells for 25 apiece. There's a lot of steel here, though. So that's cool. Wow, there's a lot of steel in this asteroid. Uh, uranium, on the other hand, quite the good. In terms of money for sale. Uranium nets us 200 apiece. So those high-value asteroids are going to be the priority. I like how I've just become the civilian ships that need protection now. Gotta get the infrastructure going, you know. How much does sulfur sell for? Oh, hello. This is a remnant civilian ship? Maybe I did that. I probably did that at some point. Sulfur sells for 10 apiece, so also not great. You, on the other hand, are already processed goods, which is amazing. Obliterate the asteroid. 
Hmm. Do you have any other high value asteroids around or else we'll just grab a random? Oh, Tritanium. Obviously, this isn't processed, but it still sells for 80 a piece, which is nice. Carbon, also good. I think, actually, I'm not sure what carbon sells for. 80 a piece, yeah, so it's Tritanium level. It's collecting hyperspace fuel from the depths of space. You'll love to see it. What is copper cell for? Uh, not much. More carbon. There's some combat debris out here. You can go pick that up. Huh, neat. Let's head back, unless we see another rare asteroid. Ooh, rare asteroid. Uh, that is us literally full up. Alright, so we're going directly back. And there's gold out here, too. We're going to mark this real quick. Gold. Talk about literally striking gold. Okay, let's head on back and we can go deplete this asteroid field a little bit later. What happens if you go outside the dotted circle? Uh, you're on the other side of the line. You have crossed the line. As it were. You're restocking the economy after sucking up all the supply for the vacuum last time? Clearly. This is, this is penance. This is penance for my behaviors. I've destroyed everything and now I've got to rebuild it. Alright. We literally just sell everything. Um, except the hyper coils and the standard coils. We keep those. But all these raw resources, they go. Um, let's also keep this steel because we are going to want to rapidly expand here if possible this is going to take a moment all right so if possible we want to come over here and build a steel station which we can now do we probably need more power if we do this uh, can't quite do it yet. We still need additional hypercoils. Because we're missing hypercoils and standard coils and a little bit of steel, but. So we need to get more stuff. Uh, the station can afford it. Like the station has the supplies to give it to us, but we don't have the money to purchase it. So we're gonna get some more money. Excellent. You know what feature I really like? I really like that YouTube now has uh, proper polls because I can do things like Have you liked this stream yet? Or even better yet, do you like this this game? And just ask yes or no on the spot right here and it pops up in chat for everyone to see like that's actually top quality feature that doesn't come even on twitch this is not nearly the amount of gold we had last time okay poor gold van Let's collect copper how much do you sell for 40 a piece i mean it's better than 
the other ones. At this point, I'm just going to collect everything. Like, literally everything. Because we need it. And by a lot. This is... This might very well fill up our storages. Hello there, wander lost. <laughs> glad to see you here. I'm glad you enjoy. YouTube has been making some surprisingly not bad decisions recently. Yes. Though to be fair, YouTube's always been super experimental. Experimental things are usually um, unpleasant, but a few things stick. <laughs> oh, hello there, crazy moose. It's basic economics. The market was saturated with low quality delivery. So he cleared out the bad business and simultaneously installed a more dependable alternative. Well, hello. You see, proper market manipulation right there. Speaking of which, I was a. Uh, one of my friends in New World, she she loves doing the market manipulation stuff. Like she was like, she's got something like four million gold all off of market, just playing the market. And you you know me and playing the market, I am all about that life. So you're just going on and about like, oh, we can do this, we can do that. It is beautiful. Is this station seriously like full up on like what's going on here? Oh my god. Is this station actually full? It's actually full. Okay, I guess we're not selling here then. Station. Alright, this station. Terrible businessman. The worst. Thank you, thank you, Crazy Moose, coming in with the support. What was it? I was actually related while I was talking about the... While I was doing... We were doing New World. I was searching the market for things. And I was able to find a crafting loop that I could make 15% markup on every time I crafted something. It's beautiful. Is this a mod or an update? This is the release on Steam. The official release on Steam. We are not fast, for we are hauler. Yeah, that station's going to be a problem if it can't handle its own uh, reserves. That that could get in the way of us doing progress here. Like, that could actually get in the way of us doing progress here. By kind of a lot. We need these middle managers to actually deliver upon their promises. Okay, sell the gold. Alright, how close am I to adding in this? We need 20k or additional steel or additional hypercoils or additional standard coils. Did I ever collect a dead ship? Where did I leave that? I think I collected dead ship. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have it now? We do! Alright, so this will be a huge upgrade for us. Um, door here? Door here. Alright, sweet. Uh, this, this literally... Okay, so here, you, sir, go anywhere else. Did I not? Door, thank you. Now we can turn astro now we can turn iron into iron plates or steel or iron into steel plates. And with steel plates we can get a better return on that investment. Is this a newish run? Yes. This is a uh, very newish run. Going mining first. With all the extra steel, we should be able to, uh, well, do anything we want. And at this point, I am just going to exhaust the asteroids, I think. 
Uh, you know what? Actually, let's be a little efficient about this by mining iron first. And with iron, we can do... You know, actually, having the yellow shirts here. Where the yellow shirts is out harvesting. Wait, I explicitly denied them from harvesting. So this wouldn't happen. We're going to watch in slightly slower motion. We have red shirts providing power. Yellow shirts also providing power. Which, that's their job. I think we just don't have enough... Power providers is what's going on here. We don't have any yellow shirts out mining. Okay. No, no. It was just... Just my eyes playing tricks on me. Okay. Go collect. Yeah, and the yellow shirts are all in here doing the uh, processing. Um, why aren't you processing right now? All right, all right, all right. Hold up. Why aren't you processing right now? Why don't you have things here? Like, why is this not happening? I swear, we're going to have to... Okay. Ah... <sighs> Iron goes here. You go here. You go here. You're good? I hate this already. It's like worker ants. Why do I have to designate a workspace when you guys already know what you need to do? Just do. Okay. So that should give us a hefty chunk of uh, bonus material. What are the ratios on this actually? Um, iron use is one steel, so one steel for one iron. So it is a one to one, and iron sells for ten, steel sells for twelve. So we're doing a 20% increase in value here, which is not much of an increase in value, but it is it is efficiency, which is nice. Then they go and do that. Great. Then once we unlock the coils, once we unlock coils, I think is where things are really going to kick off. So that's good. Okay. Let's see what's going on there. I think we still want to collect hyperspace fuel because that can't be processed. There'll be plenty of copper here back when we... Uh, There'll be plenty of copper here for when we unlock the coils. I am also tempted to get a second energy production facility here. Just so we have better uptime on the, uh... Better uptime on the, uh... Lasers. Zoom in. 
zoom in, zoom in. I'm tempted to get a hyperdrive. So this is not fast. By that I mean the entire vessel. It's not fast. Be interesting the game to have capture the flag. Hmm. Hello. Welcome. I am here to sell steel. Uh, by the many. And hyperspace fuel. I'm sure you could do some hyperspace fuel. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, Everything is on fire. Coils, please. Hello. They call it oven when you have in the cold food about hot eat the food. Uh, I, I, th I. Th What's gonna take me a moment? That one's absolutely gonna take me a moment. Uh. Ooh. Uh, yes. There's my answer. Okay, what does this cost? Way too much. Okay, a door. We get one door here. Great. We maxed on crew. I don't think we are. We are. Sweet. Okay. Away we go. Let us collect more steel. I I get the pun. It just it took me a moment. By raw iron here. Uh, the markup is not enough. A twenty percent markup is less than I would gain by. Purchasing raw iron. If it was something like tri steel and I could do that, then so then sure, but this tri steel is uh, kind of rare. And generally, just having tri steel is better than raw than the. Uh, value that you would be paying on the market so most of the time you just can't get tri steel even on the market like period because there's just not enough of it it's like but you need five tri steel but there isn't five tri steel in the system. No, but there's tri steel ore. And so you, you have to get the tri steel ore and then turn it into tri steel. Much better. Imagine if this giant asteroid here was made out of iron or something or anything. Just turn it into Swiss cheese. <laughs> Did you guys see that uh, Dark Tide released the Psycho trailer today? The uh, Fat Shark, the developers of Dark Tide. They now have a teaser trailer for the Psyker, and I'm like, <gasps> that's, oh my god. Remember when I was saying that giant asteroid that was made out of iron? This one is just thick with iron. Okay. Do I even have weapons right now? Look what my lasers are doing to this asteroid. We just cut it completely in half. We, this is, we are going to d disintegrate this entire asteroid. <laughs> we don't have the power for this kind of uptime. Usually the asteroids are so much smaller. 
I like how occasionally a guy goes in there and just presses the on button on this thing. Just to activate it. Am I planning on playing Dark Side on the channel? Yes. To show you the power of flex tape. You know, flex tape is generally used for putting things back together. Uh, there's not going to be anything left of this asteroid when we're done with it. We will literally eat the entire thing. Like, there's not even going to be chunks left. It's just, we're sweeping the beams on either side and dissolving it entirely. Alright. Uh, we are going to be here for some time. We did not finish dissolving the asteroid. It would see Oh, no. Yes, actually. Yes, we did. Um... Hello, worker bees. Alright, so I'm actually going to have you guys go collect once more. Because the yellows will go in here and complete this while everyone else collects. There we go. Now everyone can assist in the completion of this. Mm -hmm. Oh look, we have room for much more. Let's go hang out in the middle here and uh, collect. Am I ready for pre-order beta next Thursday? I'm going to say no. Because I have anything else I should be doing. But I'm going to be there. With all the debris I'm not collecting, I don't have the inventory space for it is what's going on with it. Uh, so the iron ore takes up more space than the... Uh, these steel plates so I have to collect the iron ore turn it into steel plates to compress it and then I have more space so I'm filling up my entire inventory with iron ore as you see here and then what's happening is we're compressing it into steel plates leaving us with more inventory space that I can then uh, turn into more steel which I can then harvest more uh, more uh, iron ore for Just watch that trailer. Warp fired force lightning. Oh, I know. I don't. Well, I mean, I have to try them. I don't. Thematically, I prefer the lightning over the warp fire, but like. I gotta try them, you know? What's, what is interesting to me is that the trailer didn't. The trailer showed the staff and did not show anything about the explosion. So I don't know if the staff, at least in the beta, the, the staff had the explosion ability associated with it. I don't know if that's still the case. Or if um, they've removed it and replaced it with warp fire. I mean, these things, both of those things are fine to me, but like, I'm curious. He was able to make more storage and more steel. Uh, that's actually what I was going to do. Because I can just uh, eat. And now I have extra space here. This was my intention the entire time. I just want to do it all nicely. I'm in charge of large engines for third thrust. What if I told you? Okay, now these cannot be reached from inside the ship, so I I do not know if they will go outside the ship to collect this. Um, I don't believe they will. I'll find out in a moment. They will not. Okay, so what I can do is just harvest everything, do it again, and then play around with it by constructing even more of this. There we go. This disaster is ridiculous. There was an explosion stuff. Ah, okay, well, clearly I missed it. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is this which yeets this into this automatically because that's how that works. I'm going to put it back as we get more steel out of it. And then we do this. There we go. Excellent. And then do... I think we'll just go sell while we, while we can. 
before we slow ourselves down too much. That was one asteroid worth. Oh no. Uh, have we completely... Ah, there's still more stuff here. Let's harvest this guy and maybe this next one. But there's still more stuff here to harvest. Ah, so I missed the explosion staff then. Oh no. Honestly, I wasn't too keen on the explosion staff in the in the beta. Like it was it was fine. Like, There's nothing wrong with it. It had its use. I just I found a hard time to. I never found a good time to pull it out. Why do I make a corridor and some doors? Because that revo that inquire that requires me to redo components of the ship without a blueprint. And I don't want to do that right now. I guess I I guess I could do a blueprint, but. Let's head back to the station before adjusting that. Just in case we want to make some minor changes along the way. Everything is on fire! Get it? Minor it changes. Metal. It has a T-Rex with a chain gun in, in front of a thunderstorm. Hey, That's a good one. Okay. Let us sell the fuel. I still have iron. I still have iron. Oh, right, because I can't process it. Uh, let's actually do a little bit of rework here real quick. Um, let's go forward one more. We'll go out the sides here. So we will have corridors out over here. We will do doors here. Here, 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 and here. Undo these central doors. Um, I do want additional power here. Because this is just too much. Uh, we don't quite have the money for this. So we'll do this and this. We don't quite have the money for this. will be our new hauler as we door door that'll do that'll do nicely Alright, so all we're missing now is money, and we it costs 1,000 steel, everything else we're just missing is money. Uh, so let's communicate with the station, say, hey, uh, how much of this can we sell? Uh, we need, we don't need hyperspace fuel, we need a thousand of you, so let's sell 500, issue a trade. Uh, nope, that's, that's a mistake. Uh... Negative a thousand. There we go. Unfortunately, we just lost a whole bunch of money on that because that's how that works. And uh, we should rather quickly finish off our iron here. Uh, so we just lost like 5k, which is rather unfortunate. But we did. did we're okay. It'll, it'll be fine. Uh, we just got to do another storage run first. Uh, let's let's actually come over here and we're just gonna go harvesting again. We've reacted for now. But it's, it's fine. Do you get a full refund on any removed structures? Yes, yes you do. 
beds for more crew to mine gather faster uh, i don't particularly need to at the moment more interested in getting the technology for things what i really want is to get a well railgun vessel going around but my options are to either convert this into a combat vessel that is capable of actually catching up to things or go harvesting some more is that a ship? No. It's an odd, oddly shaped asteroid after I'm finished with it. Okay. Harvest. I uh, probably should have dealt with the rest of our... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm kind of full. Probably should have sold off the rest of my steel so I have space here um, let's, let's uh, that station is having inventory problems let's head over here <clears throat> missed something important oh. does this game have a reality bubble I don't know what that means make the storage and leave the reactor for now yeah but it's it's the reactor that's really the only major upgrade there which to be fair means i probably shouldn't be investing into it when i could invest into well most of the things really hello i'm back all right so we're gonna go sell all the steel and we will do the upgrade next delivery instead of this one um yeah, that's 13k monies right there initiate trade if I do it manually. That way we can have a nice fresh start here, yeah? Um, why are you not... Am I going to have to do this? Apparently I'm going to have to do this. Okay. Learning something new every day. Manually drag it in. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. Out we go. Back into the asteroid field. Does the game consider the weight of stored goods for physics and speed calculations? I have no idea. I don't think so. If it does, it's very hard to tell. Oh my crew getting drunk on the station? No. Reality bubble usually refers to what the game is simulating. Reality bubble is a way to achieve FTL travel. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just unfamiliar with the phrase. I just, I don't know what that term means, especially within the, uh context of anything that's happening here so i'm just not going to uh, answer the question without having additional context or you know any context for that matter the remnant of the giant asteroid now completely dissolved how do you defend yourself now without weapons we have already exterminated any and every threat available to us Okay, I 
think we have harvested all the iron here. There's plenty of other resources here, but it's not iron. And so we shall move on to the next asteroid field. Right here. To save on frames, you wanted to know if the game simulated everything or only a small chunk. Uh, it only simulates what is in the active system, to my understanding. Everything outside this system, the instance, is uh, not actively simulated. Although there are some other interactions between the other systems. Uh, for example, traders, like the NPC trade ships convoys, will go from system to system, but to my understanding it isn't properly simulated at that point. Collect harvest. Ta da! You're going to be here sometime, it would seem. Okay, have we obtained space? We have obtained space. Let's harvest the rest of these. And next. Pick up some more steel. No, why? Let's go. Hello. We did it. We harvested more iron. Okay. We're in quite a dense little element of asteroids here. Like we're just collecting iron at this point. All iron and nothing but iron. Collect goodies. Go to the next. Okay, so it looks like we've covered this quadrant. Of the field, that is. I appear to have obtained a lot of space as I seem to be flying around in it. Yes. And away we go. Alright, I think we've... Do a little bit more mining out here, though we're running out of space. Getting to the point where we have to process in order to make space. Okay. Hello. Pre-made steel plates! For free! Is it a tire defense platform out here? Oh, sweet. Um, a little full. Uh, we'll be back here. We will absolutely be back here. Do any of the mining ships have a or starting ships have a mining laser? Nope. Mining is not the. Um, I'm going to say that mining is not the core gameplay loop of this uh, of this game. It's just an option for those who want it. And I've never done it before, so... At least not meaningfully. Not to this extent, anyways. We're gonna make that boy chunkier. Yes, yes, we are. It's gonna be thick. It's gonna be very thick. Um, then we're going to get the copper processor. I think after the upgrade here, though. Uh, first off, let's see if we can't make it so... See, we will have a lot more space. Some more energy production. There we go. 
Let's see, is this appropriate? It is appropriate. And we'll collect all these, throw them into here. It's gonna be nice. Um, I haven't never done a proper, a proper uh, processing materials processing vessel. Oh my god, the station is still out of storage space. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Okay, so we need another significant amount of money. Fortunately, I know where there's a whole lot of steel laying around. How come your characters can't process the iron in the forward two holds? Uh, they were disconnected. They were just haphazardly sewn, welded onto the forward element of the ship. Uh, they were not connected. They were not actually properly connected to the ship, so it, they would have to go outside to collect them. Which is, uh, they're not willing to leave the ship without direct order, so... While that's a good thing, it does mean that we don't get processed or from those components until I connect them. Which I just did. So now, so then they, um... Then they processed it all. Alright. I don't mind picking a pipe for space fuel while I'm out here. It's just good value for space. Well, money, really. You probably won't find any coils out here because I, I find it very l likely that I looted all the coils. But... Coils would be better to find than random iron plates. Ooh, Tritanium, though. We're not going to be able to get the Tritanium processing plants in this in this region. I mean, I guess maybe I could, but I don't want to. I don't want to try. That's just asking for asking for more mining than I'm willing to do. Big asteroid with a tiny amount of hyperspace fuel on it. Okay. And iron. Click. This is a lot of iron. Good. I'm gonna be here a moment. Ammunition, yuck. Ammunition sells for one a piece, so it's extremely space inefficient. But like, that's a lot of it though. Oh, gold. I missed this. First time I say, oh, this is a very, this is just a few nuggets of gold. Not even three compartments. Little piles. And there we go. Still worth picking up the gold. But like, it's not much gold. Away we go. I've turned into the hammerhead. There's a lot of hyperspace fuel around here. Or at least, let me rephrase, there's a lot of hyperspace fuel asteroids here. There isn't a lot of hyperspace fuel here.
Those are uh, two different statements. One is true, the other is not. Time for more crew to mine faster? Uh, solid maybe. That could absolutely be a worthwhile investment. Well, I know it would be a worthwhile investment. The question is, is it worth doing that first or is it worth doing the copper processing first? I think the copper processing first is probably better. <laughs> probably. Defense platform. We collect. <laughs> there were still people hiding in the derelict defense platform, and we just dissolved the entire thing. Oh no. Hey, remember this guy? He was the one that was hiding, just staring at us, waiting for us to finish off the defense platform before attacking. He did not live very long. We will clean up our mess. Like the good vacuum we are. Alright. Uh, so that actually should be about... About all the iron here. Because we've probably covered everything. Which is good. This... A lot of hyperspace fuel and ridiculous amounts of copper here. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's move on to the next asteroid field. This station, though, it's so useless. Um, can we sell enough stuff here? Um, can we sell enough here to... Uh, to actually purchase the new blueprints. So we don't need ammo. The answer is no. It's got 11 bullets worth of space. 11 whole bullets worth of space. That's that's what it's got here. Like, I can't... I can't make this up. Actually... It's got terrible space inefficiency for things, so it, it can actually take some steel, which is amazing to me. All right, it's time for upgrade. Uh, upgrade production facility, coil manufacturing, hypercoil manufacturing. Okay, so how are we going to actually design this here? Because things are about to get difficult, space-wise. Um... guess we do that and that leaves this here this here we are missing a processor we're missing we're missing seven processors and we are missing 40 coils it's the processors that are big ticket items. We're not going to find processors out in, processors out in the world for obvious reasons. So, or at least out in the asteroids. So, what we shall do is go obtain uh, go obtain some more asteroids. Our steel manufactory plant. Is that no? It's an odd shaped rock. Um, so what I was missing here is funds, mostly. Uh, almost, ex almost exclusively funds. Nope, I was missing exclusively funds, because I'm not going to find the raw ingredients anywhere. And the reason I didn't have funds is because that I couldn't sell my stuff, and for no other reason. So, oh, oh this is looking golden. Nope, tiny amount of gold again. Okay. 
It will do a bit more harvesting here because I can. And then we shall upgrade. We'll go to the other station where we can actually sell things. And then we'll upgrade. That's how that's going to go. My freighter is getting big. Yes. Yes, it is. Which means soon. We can do some upgrades. And actually, probably switch back to combat. Because if we can harvest an entire space station, that would be awesome. What I really want to do is turn this basically into a space station. And just have it like a hyperspace capable space station. We can turn it into just the ultimate harvesting and harvesting and uh, material processing vessel. It's going to be beautiful. Alright. This is probably enough to get copper coils going. And then we can swap to copper. You know, I could probably just switch out the steel production with the copper production. Like, we don't need both. Like, honestly. The manufactorum? Yes! It's like, if I were to switch out... If I were to stop doing steel and just instead do copper... Like, obviously steel is good and I want steel, but... I could just do copper and when I want to actually what I could do I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop doing steel altogether because we have two asteroid fields that are nothing but copper or at least don't have any steel in it and then I'll go mine those two asteroid fields for all the copper like all of it just literally all of it aggressive mining means taking from someone else yes yes exactly uh, like I will literally just take all of it and then when I want to actually build a ship we can do both steel and copper and just harvest both things. Come back over to here where we have both and use it to get the necessary components to build a proper combat vessel, or at least a capable combat vessel that can clear out the rest of the system, as well as the three pirate bases, because there's still three pirate bases. A JCZ bonus though, who cares? It's 25% processing speed. Look at all the time we have for processing that isn't being processing. Everything is rock if you try hard enough. Yes. This is a random iron asteroid just out in the middle of nowhere. Are you worth paying attention to? Sorry. Eh. Pretty decent haul. Look. It's processing at 100% speed. And is already done. Despite all this time we have to fly. Are we getting into the higher tier resource crafting? Maybe more useful for a combat ship. Exactly. Like, who needs all this low tier? Like, steel is nice. My, I noticed that steel is needed. Like, actually needed. Because stations don't have enough of it. So you can't do upgrades because you don't... There is not physically not enough steel in the environment. But... Beyond that... Like, you, you don't... You don't really need it. Okay, so we'll keep that, sell this. All right. So next up, uh, we already we already got the blueprint. So I think what I want to do is instead, we discard modifications. We go back over here, coils, like so, like this. There we go. This is looking good. Um, let's add this here. So I don't have to walk through things. What am I missing here? Literally money. And... It... Just... Money for the processors. Okay. Which we should be getting most of 
if not all of. Yeah. Once this is done, there we go. Hello. Okay. Sweet. Good. And now we're broke. Big shock. All right, let's head back over to this guy. Add copper here. And go to here. And this needs to be pushed into here. And this needs to be pushed everywhere else. Literally everywhere else. Okay. I, I still think the way that system works is not great. But we'll come back to that later. Probably not. Uh, in that case, I can just sell off standard coils. We'll keep hyper coils because those are hilariously expensive. We'll keep enriched uranium because those are also hilariously expensive. But standard coils we're about to have obscene amounts of. Okay, you wish there was a supply and demand system for this game? That would be interesting, yes. Um, although, it would be difficult to implement without breaking some other systems. Because the game is not a... It isn't an economy management simulator. So you, if you add economy management, what you end up with is a game where the, the combat system is suddenly um, unbalanced. You haven't played around with the railgun yet? The railgun is so good. It's the reason why I didn't want to do the railgun to begin with, because the railgun is just so disgustingly amazing. Like, it's just great. Especially rail fanning, like if you're talking about your raw strength. Okay, so now we harvest all the copper, leaving only sulfur, I think, here, and hyperspace fuel. Uh, but this should see... Let's do this. And this, this, this. Ta-da! Better. We're about to have crazy coils up in here, and that's going to be a massive... It is going to be a massive amount of uh, profit increase. I don't particularly want sulfur. Um, I don't particularly want the uh, sulfur production... Oh, there's still iron here. Okay. I don't particularly want these sulfur production facilities. Lasers got nerfed today? Really? That seems... I mean, whatever. I'm not one in the... Uh, I'm not familiar with the competitive slash multiplayer balance of things. I'm sure there was a reason. I wish there was a way to build a ship part by part. I mean, you can. I choose not to. Because I like it being... I like the uh, simplicity of doing it all at once. That way I don't have to have ostensibly useless components just attached to my ship. Not doing anything until, you know, the rest of it is complete. There's multiplayer in this game? Yes. Elite Dangerous, you can make a living by hauling stuff from one system to another. Yes. Uh, Elite Dangerous is also a truck, a space trucking simulator. Uh, this is a combat simulator. Two very different things. Hmm. 
Someone came through here and had a bad time. Very bad time, it would seem. There's not much left of them either. Yeah, so there's a there's actually a fairly substantial amount of iron left here. And it's left in places adjacent to asteroids that I have clearly already mined. Um, so... I don't know if this like respawns or something, but... I do know that I was harvesting copper in this area. Because it was just easy to... It was better to mine copper. To kick things off. Than just raw iron, but... Interesting. Like I, I'm fairly certain things don't respawn, so I'm confused as to why there's iron here. You would argue that it's also a combat simulator. I wouldn't. It is a simulator type. It is a simulator type game with a simulated flight model that has combat. It's not a combat game. This is a combat-oriented game that lets you mine things. Because it's satisfying to do so. This game is downright amazing. I tend to agree. What are you? More starship debris. Alright, we'll go check out over here real quick. I think I got everything here. Okay. On to the next. <sighs> What's going on? Why are you not processing? Don't know why I am a subscriber. Probably your lovely voice. Hey, hello there, Zacharias. Welcome, welcome. Did this undo it? So it did. All right, so you go here. You go literally everywhere. I really wish that if there was a high priority spot for these, it would just get sucked off into it, but alas. Alright, so we'll sell our coils, then move on to the next asteroid field. Look how quickly it processed. We just processed an entire asteroid field of goodies in the time it took us to get most of the way, like half of the way to the space station. What happens if you go too close to the sun? Um, Icarus. Sell hyperspace fuel. Sell steel and standard coils. Ho oh, ho! 24,000 monies off of coils alone. That's so much money! Okay. Do we want to immediately upgrade to hyper coils? Consumes copper and coils. Man, because hyper coils are just good. We might need to do combat first, though, is my question, is my thing. But hyper coils, though. How much are these worth? These sell for 150. They're three times the value of coils. And they cost, what is it, two a piece to make? Uh, let's unlock this. I find it difficult to imagine that we can afford placing one of these. Oh my god, it's not even that expensive. Like, it's 12 processors, which is a lot, but we can almost afford it. This is... Alright, so each... Each iron... Each copper goes to one coil. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio of copper to coil. Then hyper coils are two coils and half of a copper? 
Oh, so that's not a great return on investment. Then. Like, that's still better than coils. But only just barely. Okay. What does it cost to actually slap this guy down here? We can literally... Uh, oh, wait, no, we can't. There's not enough processors here in this system to do this. Okay, so this is probably not a worthwhile investment. Um, however... How many processors do you have? Besides, not enough. I think we're going to start buying up all the tri-steel. This, this place literally has zero processors. Okay, that explains that. We're going to start buying up all the tri-steel. Because we're going to need that for railgun reasons. And then we hit it over here. Away we go. We have full-fledged factory yet? Uh, work in progress. Work in progress. We have appropriated um, effectively an entire asteroid field and partially the other some others. Uh, but we are going to need to start working toward combat so we can clear out the rest of these areas. And once we start um, harvesting, the pirate bases will be in a great spot. I thought the factory boost could not care less. They are meaningless. Never heard of this game, Cosmets here. Is it offline or online only? Neither. It is neither offline only, nor is it online only. It's just fun. How do you make several ships? By pressing the build ship button. You go build ship, and you press build ship, and then you have a ship built. Or, you know, if you have the money for it or whatnot, or whatever it is you're attempting to do. Oh, look, copper. Uh, given that we are likely going to exhaust both of these asteroid fields entirely, relatively rapidly, I imagine it's not going to be worth me getting the hypercoil setup system set up here. Because we will be expending on processors that are likely better used on other things. But it increases production, it increases production speed. If you check this out, gains a 25% production speed for each adjacent factory of any type. However, if you've noticed, our uh, production speed is so fast that we can't harvest faster than it. So we don't need an additional 25%. Is it worth your time to buy copper at the station to sell coils? Unlikely, but um, maybe. I haven't. I haven't checked actually. Usually isn't, but I haven't checked on copper coils. Large asteroid. Relatively sparse density of copper. Is crew that's slowing down your gather? Uh, crew mostly, yes. actually uh, sells for more than hyperspace fuel, so I'm less keen on picking up hyperspace fuel now. It's just not as efficient as copper. Hello. More starship components. It's laying out in space. Giant asteroid. 
Eh. Still kind of sparse on the copper compared to its size. <clears throat> Would you have to go to a different system to get more processors? At least a different star base. Um, sometimes a different system, yes. Depends on the... Uh, depends on how many processors are at the nearby star bases. Because each star base has a different inventory so i could just exhaust an entire star base and then go to another star base but if you go to all the star bases in the system and there are no more processors then i would actually have to go to a different star system to obtain the pros the necessary components for whatever it is i'm attempting to do and that's usually the um, limiting factor of things that you want to do star bases very quickly become at least in my experience uh less expensive your ships typically become more expensive quite rapidly than the um, total wealth of an entire starbase. It's a problem. Later on, fame is your limiting factor. Well, the crew is always the limiting factor, but I mean, in terms of strictly, uh, strictly uh, cost to building a ship. But crew is, at every point in time, or rather fame, is always the limiting factor in my experience. Like, and by a lot. Does the tractor beam collect stuff? It does not. It just moves objects around, like large objects like ships. And I, I imagine you could also target asteroids with it, but not that I'm keen to do that. You can keep... Unironically, a tractor beam would be useful for handling all those tiny little starfighters that were just kiting for days. Just go kick them away, or you know, suck them in. Would be a better, uh, better option. Harvest copper. That's a chunk of copper right there. Ta da Alright. There we go. Having an asteroid meat shield launching missiles. That is probably quite effective. I I can imagine being extremely effective with that. Because asteroids are effectively immortal. Indestructible beyond, you know, a mining laser. So you just throw it in front and then use indirect fire, things like missiles. And uh, suddenly you've got yourself an extraordinarily tanky ship that um, also does good damage. Especially if you have something like, I don't know, nukes behind it. That could work well. What is more limiting, crew, materials, or fame? Fame and crew are the same thing. Like, fame is crew. Um, and it's it's crew and by a lot. Or fame and by a lot, however you want to describe that. We have relatively quickly exhausted this asteroid field of uh, copper. We have this bonus efficiency has uh, done grand and glorious things. I'm going to stop by this station, pick up all the tri steel and processors they have. And I think it is about time that we swap to some uh, combat, yeah? Hello from Sydney. Hello there. Or should I say good morning? Okay, sell so hyperspace fuel. Let us sell nothing here. Nothing. We're not. We're not selling anything here aside from hyperspace. We can't even sell the hyperspace fuel. Okay. Can we purchase? Oh my God! You have so much tri steel. Um, pick up. Oh, and you have all the processors in the world. Twenty tri steel. 
five processors. We can check, let's check the copper ratios here. So each copper is purchased for 72, and each copper turns into one coil, which can then be sold for 90. Now that's worth it. Barely, but it's worth it. Because that goes from 72 apiece to... I'm sorry. It's sold for 50 apiece, so it's not worth it. We don't touch that. Hmm. Tri steel is likely going to be the thing. I can either get the tri steel or the processors. I suppose I could do both, but if I do both, I'm absolutely going to have to. Uh... Absolutely going to have to go mining again. With this amount of tri steel, we can get a weapon. Uh, let's let's do that. Pick up five of these, initiate trade. And what I can do here is increase our revenue by taking all of these copper coils and uh, doing this, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So now we can go out, collect heap loads of copper, turn it all into hyper coils, sell those for even more monies. Alright, so now we can go over here. Right, come on, give me, thank you. This, 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 and just here, yeah? There we go. Okay, so we have this, and I need this, so we do copper already here, beautiful. So you go here, and you go literally anywhere else. Um, let's do coils here. And coils go from here to here. Okay. So, did I miss a spot? I did. So now we will just basically be turning all this into hypercoil. Uh, so let's go mining here. Grab a bunch of grab a bunch of um, copper out of here. And just turn it all into hypercoils, which should be something like another 20% markup on the copper. Which is good. It's, it's, it's okay. It's not an amazing amount of money, but it's okay. Seems to be the name of the game. Small increases. It's interesting to see how that works out, because it's not like we're getting massive amounts of money from this. But it can be optimized for uh, small amounts at a time, small bonuses at a time. We're getting half of the value of copper in total, and it costs two. And, so it costs two and a half. We get three out of it. So that's whatever th half divided by three is. So that's one sixth. One sixth of a hundred. Eighteen percent. It's like an eighteen percent markup on the copper. Which is not terrible. Ooh, titanium though. Don't mind if I do. Alright, so all the what is so all of this 
should get processed into hypercoils. Yes. Okay, so it looks like this one is actually quite slow, this processing speed. So this would be a decent... 25% uh, bonus would be decent here. Not amazing because they're still not going to do it because uh, it's, it's still not worth it, but... If we were a giant factory ship, I, I could see why it would be worth having to some degree. Probably, probably if we were doing, you know, maybe if we were just doing, if we were a factory ship that was also in combat. It's knowing where you live. Congratulations. It is starting to get toward that time of year, yeah? But usually I don't hear much about snow until December. Not that I live in an environment that has snow ever. Still, to this day, I've not seen snow, which is impressive. I would have to... Even when I've gone like, oh, let's go to a vacation so we can go see snow. I've, I've explicitly gone traveling in the north. Uh, at times with the sole intent... Well, maybe not the sole intent, but with, with the intent of finding snow. Um, weather, despite predicting snow, did not produce snow all three times I've attempted this trek and has resulted in me yet to have ever even interacted with snow. I think this is on the side of the line. I'm trying to work on one asteroid. No, oh, that's on the other side. Oh, well. Close enough. I'm trying to work on one asteroid belt at a, or asteroid field at a time so I can manage it. Okay. Why are you not processing? Oh, because we're out of coils. Okay, that's fair. Oh, God. Apparently not the right part of the north. Uh, it's mostly, like, New York. Like, if you've ever been to, like, Rochester or something. Go anywhere in Quebec in January or February. You might get more snow than you want. <laughs> Understandable. You can always go to the Antarctic. You know, I could, although I'm not particularly keen to go to the Antarctic. As much as I'm sure I'd find some, as much as I'm sure there's plenty of scientists there that would be happy for social interaction. Uh, if it's the penguins, I'm sure they're happy to, you know, have people or something. They're, they're probably not happy to have people. As much as they're social creatures, they're not exactly um, human friendly. Go get stabbed by a penguin or something. Snow like birds aren't real. Oh no. Alright. Someone's made a disaster of this. And I don't have a way of cleaning this up without making things. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Hypercoils go here. Please clean this up. This is a disaster. Okay, now we can undo this because we don't actually care about hypercools being here. Are you good? We have inventory space now? Great. Please harvest. Thank you. Got a lot of inventory space now. Um, actually, can I just swap this right back to a standard coil factory right now? I absolutely can do just that. I don't have coils. Never mind. Ironically. does mean we are going to have plenty of um, plenty of coils to process once we get back to base. We don't have both factories? Uh, it's just more cost efficient to only do one at a time. At least at this this stage it's easier because then I would have to have I would have to purchase the additional processors needed and that's just I, I'm sitting at 1.5 monies right now. 
1.5k monies right now, so uh, I'll have to come back to that one later. That's the million dollar question. It's only like twenty thousand dollar question. I I don't overblow it. The reason why I'm a cargo ship right now because I like cargo ship. I actually I I want because I want it to be. And that's that's the answer to that question. We've already we've already looted this entire asteroid belt. Uh, let's go turn. Let's go all the way to the other station because this one is terrible. Wanna go drive a prowler? What are you gonna do? Go AP all those new aircraft out of the sky? I'm kidding, there's no new aircraft. The patch hasn't dropped yet. Uh. I really like the new YouTube polling system. It's so good. Do aircraft in a patch? Yeah, you know all those new guys that come to play after the bash and gets nerfed into the ground? It's about time. <laughs> Just go kill and loot the terrible station. It's possible. If only Planet Tide was an Xbox. Do not put that evil... Is there fuel management? There is hyperspace fuel. There's no sublight fuel. So you don't have to worry about running out. At least when we're just in the system. Okay. So first off, we sell some hypercoils for monies. Um, that's minus 400. Yeah. We turned a ridiculous amount of coils into hypercoils. Which is just wonderfully space efficient. Uh, let's do... Why am I... Oh, because I'm purchasing coils. Is that what's going on here? Yeah. It cost me seven, eight thousand money since purchasing coils. Okay. And it's already there. It's beautiful. Uh, we've got a lot of Tritanium ore. Ever played Star Sector? I have played Star Sector. It's a great game. Love it. Can't wait till they... It gets upgraded. We got 67 Tritanium ore. It's going to give us a whopping 5k monies. Alright. Everything is on fire! Okay, someone said something about not putting evil into the world. Oh, no. So clearly I'm here to summon it. Crazy Moose, why? There's a new 70 anniversary bundle coming out. Oh no, I have not, I have not done the anniversary stuff. Does the game have an end goal? Yes. Extermination. Uh, we are going to be here for a minute. Um, so, is now the time, I think now may be the time, we don't really have that much fame, which is going to be an issue. Um, but now may be the time, I think what we do is we convert to military. We just build a military ship, and then we commit death upon the rest of the solar system. And then we convert back into a civilian ship and uh, pillage the solar system. I think that sounds like a good idea to me. Look at the mess they leave of these coils. Like, come on. Alright, well, we've got some monies here. We've got a lot of coils. It's amazing. What is this? Raw uranium. Get out! Eight hundred monies. Thank you. Okay. 
I think we've made this place rich because now it's got a ridiculous amount of, uh, it's got a ridiculous amount of, uh, all right, so we do save ship design. Uh, this will be the harvester save ship. Thank you. Uh, so we've got the harvester here. And now uh, let's do... I want rail guns. Let's do rail guns. I think we should probably have the ability to fuel those. So it's been a long time since I've done rail guns. Uh, so we need one of these. Just basic rail gun loader here. Kind of want to go small with it. Small and nimble. I think I like that idea. I'm always a big fan of small and nimble. Uh, my issue with rail guns is that they kind of like to have they kind of they're kind of squish and they need to have they need to be exposed at the front so i like to have double energy shields on them which i understand becomes a problem because disruptors exist but like armor is really rough to put on these outside of you know stuff like this I don't really want that poking out the front of the shield um, there. so we'll have that set up there still poking at the front of the shield, but I, I guess that's fine. Uh, we have one tiny rail gun to work with, and corridor goes up here. We'll put doors in later. This this is armor. This is what armor is for. Armor. Lots of armor. And then we do... So that'll be basic layout. Uh, because of this, I'm going to have one reactor here, one reactor here. Uh, that way we can get high-powered energy shields for rapid regen. We can also get... Uh, this guess is not that big of a deal. Let's get the ammo storage in here next while I'm thinking about it. Because I could do more ammo storage. It's probably pretty good. I don't know that I need that much ammo storage right now because we're going to be running back and forth. Lasers need exposed to Yes. Which is why you generally want to have them down the spine with like massive bits of armor. But I don't want to do massive armor. I want to do... I want to do... Nimble. Like... I, I guess we're already beyond the stage of Starfighter. But... Small light frigate. Light Corvette. Hmm. Okay. All right, thrusters, thrusters. How do we want to handle this? Not, we're not going for diagonal design. I like my diagonal designs, though. Okay. This is not going to be great if we have to do any amount of strafing, which you're probably going to have to do. So I likely want to have this set somewhere in the, above the center mass. Which is going to be a little bit painful to set up. If I do this, this, followed by this and this, then up here, here. I guess I can just put these in all the way in the back then. Alright then. 
we do this. We have four here, four here. Now I just need vertical. Yikes, though. I'm looking for PT boat. I don't know. PT boat is... Maybe. Like, this railgun's quite large, though. Hard to put a railgun on PT boat. Hmm. Interesting. I start a new save? Um, I'm going to say yes, because I'm pretty certain I know what you're referring to. Um, but not recently. Twitch keeps bugging out on you. Oh, no. Twitch has been having some problems recently, yes. Uh, at least in my experience. Uh, so we've got these horizontals here. Welcome back, Nigel. I don't know how I want to handle these thrusters is my concern right now. I think I kind of want these internal like this, just so they don't get slammed. We can do this, which means we can probably... Well, I still have to put the cockpit and such. Cockpit here. Corridor here. Here. Leaves room for crew. We've got ammo here. Hmm. Engine pods? I guess. It's kind of an idea. You trying to design thrusters is always a pain. A little bit. It's the thing is I I really want this vessel to be able to strafe, is the thing. And that's going to cause a problem. Okay. So we've got just enough tri steel. We've got just enough tri steel for this. We've got a railgun functional. We have, we just have the money to make that. We just have the materials to make this right here, right now. Um, this looks like it's probably going to suffer in, well, this thruster isn't even connected. So these need to be shifted out one with another corridor. There's no way. Like that's that's too much corridor. We can't. That's unacceptable. That's an unacceptable amount of corridor. possible to make a ship continuously thrust? Yes, absolutely. We should be quite nimble. Well, I mean, we probably aren't more nimble than the... I don't know, actually. We may need more thruster than this, which is going to be an issue. Unless we get the... We don't... We can't unlock the blueprints right now. This is, let's, let's try this again. Let's purge, purge. I like, we have this. Do I want to slide this forward or back? I think we slide these, how does this look? We slide these here, we do this. This ends up directly connected, which is better, question mark? 
Hmm. It's been so long since I've done a railgun. I'll add this storage here that leaves us nice too, so that's fine. And it's going to be the thrusters that will, that will ruin me here. Because I need this to be quite nimble. <laughs> this is going to be death if they ever get hit from the side. Oh no. Have I ever read any of the books from the Honor Harrington series? I have not, no. Alright, let's not make it too long. Let's do this. We do have shields in front that have to be broken through. Uh, I can go quickly this direction, and then I can go this way. Everything else should be good. We do this. We do... This. As long as we don't get hit from behind. Uh, can I... I can probably slide this around even more. Because we should have filled up everything we need. Uh, just a hatch goes somewhere, and well as as well as the fire extinguisher. On crew, probably want a little bit more crew. Much as I have zero trust in this at all. Let's slide this up one here. So doors just go here. Here, here, we're gonna have so many doors. We want corridor connecting this. Which means we can have beds here. We can't have both doors here, can we? No, we can't. Uh, which means we can have beds here. And then, actually, let's do this. So we can put hatch here, fire extinguisher here, like so. It's just a normal block here. Armor will go here-ish. Just cosmetic armor there. And I think we've got ourselves a functional little light rail. Very flimsy. Very, very flimsy, really. And... What happens do we want? Let's do this so our crew can actually get across the sides without breaking themselves or each other. Otherwise, they have to go all the way for the railgun. We do a temporary bed. Definition of glass cannon. Yeah, there's gonna be some terrible repair bills. Can't wait to see how this works out. Okay, so we do this. Light rail 1.0. This can only end apparently. Uh, there's no hyperdrive on this either, which is going to come into play here relatively soon. 
uh, for the moment. Oh, look at this. Okay. Save. So we'll have ammo here. This is going to be such a long refuel time on those reverse thrusters. If these suckers have to, if this sucker has to run away. Okay. Aren't I missing an ammo factory? No. No, I'm not. This should function. It will have, I suspect it will have good strafe abilities, because we have roughly center mass thrusters, although it's not that good. Like, it's only two of them each. It should have good reverse and good forward. The reverse thrusters should fail under constant pressure or any amount of disruptors. which will become relevant, I'm certain of it. Uh, let's add a little bit more here. There we go. Hey. Wonder how heavy that this that thing's gonna be. Okay, so we'll save this. All right. And stop. Touch. Thank you. Ta -da! All right, and now we need crew here, as well as, let's do, wait, how much? This can only hold something like four, 15, 16 crew. Why does it say, oh, that's CP, okay. <laughs> the, the bow spikes before intimidation, yes. Lost a bit of the railgun, oh my god, I did. Uh, I pressed the wrong button, it would seem. Yeah, there we go. Why are you invalid? Oh, you can't connect there? Really? Okay. I see why that happened now. Interesting. Okay. Alright then, so we come over to here, and we do transfer crew, max, hello, why can't I, do I have to reset this every time? We'll have this online, and now you need to purchase. No doors? Oh my god. I'd rather have no doors than auto doors, but pain still. Save. You know, this needs a paint job. That's what I think this needs. Because this, this is unacceptable. Alright, so first off, base paints. Honestly, not super big on the textures. So we'll leave that as... That's going to get too much to handle. Uh, let's do... Blue. A... Not that, just blue. There we go. 
decals, however. Uh, let's do some... Hmm. Yellow with yellow. I think mostly yellow would be fine, yeah. Go NZ colors. We have the spine followed by this. The important bits. And then how about green? That's gonna be vomit colored. We're not doing green here. However, I could do orange. Hmm. I'll do a deeper blue for these bits. And then you, what I like to do for this is this guy. And then this, where's the inverse of this? Here we are. It's what we call depth. Oh, here, here we go. Excellent. like this. This does not look... Let's do... Let's further... Let's just turn this yellow. There we go. And then we turn this into... Nothing. There we go. Uh, let's go back to this then and add... Here and here and here. There we go. So we have the engine blocks, the central pot spire, as it were. What's going on here? Oh, it's the base color, I see. like that anymore. Remove the blue. Why can I not remove the blue? Oh, because that's the wrong one. It's this one. Move the extraneous blue. That means we need to go back here to here and remove this. Yes. Now we do... Where is it? Probably this. There we go. Then 
this guy just gets this. Where, where is it? No. 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 Is that in the right? No, no, that's the wrong corner. We get this one. There it is. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Much better. It's this guy now needs to be adjusted. Oh, wrong way. No. Ooh, that looks strange here if I don't. Okay. 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 We have a little bit of depth here. That looks much better, I think. Um, hmm. I think this will do for now. Uh, we can do more. I'm not... This is this is 1.0, yeah? 1.0 variant. We will save ship. Save. We'll have to come back to that later. Uh, but for now, we will load up on ammo. And then, nice, full stock. That's not all that much ammo, is it? Uh, no. I can solve this problem. Oh, so close. We need just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. It's just, it's so close. Okay. All right. So how close are we to? Let's go chase down. Mm. Okay. I see. This is why we were out of storage here. Interesting. That's wondering what's going on with the ammo. There we go. All right, uh, let's save this again before it before we load into it with uh, incorrect ammo reserves. Okay, let's go hunt this guy down now. <clears throat> Yeah, we're only at 55 MS. Oh, that was gold. Okay. Gold. You know, I, honestly, I could bring the, uh, the other ship over. But this is a small interceptor class that we're going to be facing off against here, so... We should just kind of devastate it. Uh, we only travel 55, which is not particularly fast. I want it to be faster. Uh, it also really doesn't help that we are getting bullied by an asteroid right now. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> and it's gone! Alright. One shot, one wipeout. Um, I do, I do want more speed, but I think we're not going to get more speed for some time. Uh, not until a revamp. I am concerned that... What's... Okay. There's something concerning happening here. The people on the railgun are also attempting to power the railgun. Um... Huh. 
MK. That shouldn't happen once combat occurs. I hope. I see why it's happening. I want it to not happen. Let's go over here, chase this sucker down, and more of this. Yes. Remove. And... Fire! Oh, here it is. Oh, I took a chunk off of it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's very good. That's, that's, that's gone. Welcome to Railguns. Okay, so we should be able to come deal with some of this, yeah? Hello, what are you? Alright, well, you know, we have a solution to this problem. We do not have people on this. Like, not nearly enough for this. change that in crew management I it's it's fine because once the uh, railgun is firing it won't need to do that so what's happening here is this railgun is out of is uh, running out of power because it needs to be constantly powered so it's just grabbing the first crew this crew isn't doing anything because you know once this is out of power then it can't fire so it says oh we have free crew members Let's just grab this and go power this guy again, which is fine. But once we're in combat and these guys are nearby doing things like this, it'll grab one of these instead so that it should work. But that is a distance from bed to weapon issue. save these attack defaults. Let's back all the way up. Fighting in an asteroid field. Not super into this. Uh, let's try to go from let's try to go from the other direction here. Because there should be lots of targets. I don't want to be near this asteroid field if it could be avoided. Okay. This one looks like it's coming straight for me. I think we go straight to the cockpit with this. Because of its firing angle, because of its uh, incoming vector, I'm going to aim at the disruptor instead. And... What justifiable reason for you, do you have for not firing right now? You are well within range. I need to see because we're not aiming center mass. Thank you. Okay. Disruptor? No, no, it was the... Uh, this thing was trying to fire at the designated target, but it couldn't see the designated target. So we just needed to target the ship in general. As opposed to a, a specific target, which is Railguns 101. We are going to immediately start backing up, because that is a lot. Mm-hmm. Hey, have a good one out there to get shower. Have a good evening. Oh, Lord. This is how mistakes are made. Let's get a little closer. Let's stop backing up into this asteroid. So I need to be able to go this way. Yep. No, no, don't, don't turn around. Do not give it the rear end. Please fire. 
Okay, we're going to do some crew reassignment. This is clearly a problem. Uh, you two go man... You two specifically man this. That is your life. All right, one of these days, they have, they are firing. Okay. The disruptor. The disruptor hit it and shut it down. All right then. Um, this is death. Do you have a shield? You, you have a shield. You also have a shield. Everyone has a shield. Can you blind fire? Uh, you can blind fire, yes. Um, I don't think we can break this. I think we need to try to get as far away as we can to salvage our corpse. Yeah, okay. Uh, we didn't make it very far. That's uh, real unpleasant. Okay. We have two persons who... Nope, we don't have any survivors, it would seem. Okay. Well, we got something done. Uh, we should be able to go... Har we might be able to go harvest that, maybe. Uh, we're going to be out here for a while longer just harvesting this. Um, uh, fighting 1v4. Definitely a problem, which is why we... Stop doing this to begin with. Okay. Yay, money. We have another one? Oh, we did bounties over there. Okay. Let's go get some gold. Uh, no, 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 no. Back, back, back. Station. Crew, please. Because, uh, that's unfortunate. We still have our starter crew. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. general rule facing a survival. Yeah, I, I was going to die there. I did not have any means of preventing that. Um, so I was just trying to get as far away from the death zone as possible. Um, I was hoping to get further than that, but here we are. Because if I get far enough away, I can just go collect. So this... We'll keep all that. There's no more tri-steel here. Probably need to purchase... Where's your Uh, sell the gold. Keep the processors. Okay. Well, at least we know where that is. We have a new asteroid here that we can mine. 360 knows go give us too much confidence in there. Well, no, I was hoping that they wouldn't all be high, higher tier shielded. Because we didn't have any way of penetrating energy shields yet. Uh, like we, the, moment any, the moment I saw anything shielded... I should have attempted the well I did attempt to run away, but they were faster than us, which I, I failed to to deal with because they're still faster than us. Um 
which is a concern. So we could not escape that. Do you have enough to build again? Nope. We're gonna go mining. Hopefully starting with the um starting with uh this guy. Namely me. Uh, the question is if we can get into close enough to this. I really hope they didn't take it upon themselves to completely obliterate oh hello. Oh my god. We have crew here. Had crew here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is go to orient this way. We're going to go to 1x. And we are going to attempt to... Oh my god, they took it upon themselves to remove everything that wasn't just steel. So there's probably not much scrap here for us. Got a hyper coil. No, that's a regular coil. Actually, there is some uranium in here. Why is it coming closer? It's not coming directly at us. There's some tri steel that they've left be that they've destroyed. It looks like this one's coming for us. No, it's stopping. Oh, this is so nerve-wracking. Alright, let's just grab the important bits. Rich uranium processors, try steel, hypercoils. So it looks like they spent the time to literally break the entirety of the ship. Which is unpleasant, to say the least. But hey, we rescued a crew member out of that. Uh, but if we can get the tri steel out of this, that would be amazing, because that's going to be our limiting factor. Also processors, I suppose. Oh, they really left uh, not much standing here. Okay, well, we know where this is. Dead ship, but we'll come back to that later. Well, we got a stack of processors. And... Okay. Uh, let's go out away from here. I definitely need multiple vessels or a very large ship to deal with this. Why are we going so slow? Slower than usual. Mm -mm. We once broke 30. Oh well. Okay. <laughs> so stressful. A little bit. A little bit. Alright then. Uh, we can go turn this in over here. Uh, but we can also harvest this guy conveniently next to all the goodies. Uh, so we probably have enough here now to reconstruct one. I think that's uh, not going to be our immediate goal. Other than get money once more. So instead of one, we can get two. And then we'll have multiple to play with. We can actually get around shields by not shooting at a target when it's looking at us. 
Seems like a good idea to me. Sensors would be nice. Copper. Sensors would be very nice. As we go vacuum up asteroids one at a time. Uh, we may need to go visit the other station to collect some of that dry steel. Well, how much stuff is here? There's a lot of copper in this little asteroid. Very high density. You'll love to see it. More uranium. Don't mind if I do. And next asteroid. That's a lot of copper. Well, that's two copper asteroids next to each other. It's not necessarily a lot of copper as we've seen before. This one, however, had a pretty decent amount of copper in it. We lost so much stuff. Don't think this ship is light rail 1.0. You would be correct. Some carbon. It's just good to sell as is. Alright, now we head toward the center of the field. So we've covered the exterior. Harvest the rest of this. And... Excellent. Is this new to Cosmeteer? Um, I genuinely do not know the answer to that question. Probably not. Gold! And Tritanium Ore? Sweet. I can't process this into Tritanium, which is the thing I need right now. But it still sells very well. Okay then, we should be all cleaned up here, purged this place of copper. Uh, we'll see if there's any more tritanium here. The last time you played is when they added missiles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would imagine this entire game is new to you at this, at this point. I wouldn't dare call it a new. There is some more Tritanium here. Okay, so first off... How much is it to get a new ship of the light rail variety? Forty-one thousand monies because we are missing steel, tri-steel, and enriched uranium. So we need to go harvest some enriched uranium. Um, and a lot of steel. I'm okay with this. Alright, so let's do the thing where we eject, yeah? Oh wait, I didn't sell my uranium. Get out. Hmm. Zone 1 frame fame limit is how much? Uh, I think 410, I think is the answer to that one. Uh, because if we go over to the highest tier here, destroy pirate bases, uh, 440 
പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് And anything higher than zone 1 will give you a higher limit. Uh, so we need steel. I think we just eject everything and go collect steel, uh, which we can do. Uh, so let's first off do this. And then... this okay clip the rest of this up all right so that should all be relatively nicely packed in here and now we do this and we go convert over to steel okay And now the rest of this stuff gets ejected. Because we are going to need the space. We're also going to need to redo a lot of the... Uh, A lot of the... Oh, I see what's going on here. They're moving it all here, which is actually kind of fine. I realize I could sell this, but I don't particularly want to, because we're going to need it, mostly. Okay, so now this, this all gets cleared, like all of this gets cleared. Now we need iron, it goes here. And the rest of this should be, nope, you need to go here, you need to go literally anywhere else. Okay. Good. Uh, let's go collect some iron, and then we'll come back. Why not sell it? Because I need it. I need to... Uh, I need to use the materials. You have to have the materials in order to construct things. In this game, you can purchase the materials from the station, but there's a limit to the amount of materials. So I'm not a, I'm not interested in... My limit is not money. My, interest, my limit is always materials. Even if it says your limit is money, no, your limit is materials. You just don't have the money to purchase the materials. And now we create, we have harvested a great many iron ore. Why did it prompt? Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes the station does death the materials for you to buy. Yep. That is exactly what happens many of the time. Like many, many, many of the time. Hello there, Derek. I'm glad you enjoy This is, this is a lot of iron, and this is going to make me happy. I said go this way. Thank you. Yeah, the laser, the energy, uh, energy boys are not enough. Really, we just need more crew for this. This is such a large asteroid. This is good. Do you need storage to the outside storage areas? Oh my god. Yes. We lost the doors because I sold them off. I 
And we are out of coils. That explains what's going on here. So we'll head straight back on over to the space station and go pick up some doors because we left them at the space station out in space. That's unfortunate. Okay, make it so. There we go. Now we can go collect these and process them appropriately. Uh, however, very soon we should just be able to slap one of these guys down. Be nice if we could skip the whole schematic thing and just press the button. Uh, we are still missing 700 steel. And, uh, well, the processors and we're missing the tri-steel and rich uranium and, well, lots of steel. So... Let's purchase, there's no dry steel here, but we will purchase the uraniums. It's also the dry steel that we need. Oh, station just got some dry steel. It's in the process of getting more, it would seem. It's those rail guns, man. They're expansive. Okay. Uh, I think actually what I... I think I'm going to be doing some adjustment to the, uh, the light rail once we actually get it up and running. We, have been, we haven't been doing processing this whole time, so it's going to take us a moment to actually process this all. Uh, but while we're at it, let's get some basic ejection going. Because we need the steel out of here. Okay, I do want to sell some of this steel so we can get some money. Uh, let's sell 500 of it. Pick up some more tri steel, some more uranium. Tri steel and uranium are going to be the hot ticket items. And now we should just be able to go. Okay. Do we, do you ever play Elite Dangerous? I've played a lot of Elite Dangerous, yes. Why is the tea always gone? Because I keep drinking it. Hello there, hey, Tucson. You got me into this game big time. I played oh, with lasers no. and got 16 to combine into a single point with 10 lasers worth of power. Math is fun laughing face. I yes. can share the design with you if you want it. Oh, it's quite also, all right. Love your content. Keep me <laughs> Gladly. That's what we're here for. This is probably a little bit more detailed. You haven't seen this before. This... This is Cosmeteer. It's, um... It's a good way to describe it. It's like a base management game, but with explosions. Not really... Not really, uh... Elite Dangerous related, like, at all. Uh... I'm electing to... I am electing to, uh... Play it as a miner, which is not really part of the core gameplay loop. Even a little bit. Um, so, something to consider. But, ooh, uraniums. It's 2D space engineers, but with better weapons. I think that's a better description, yes. 2D space engineers. <laughs> Why do you sound like me? You drink all the rum? Oh, no. I'm not really a big drinker. I'm not really, like, an alcohol kind of guy. Like, I can do whiskey. I can do wine. More of whiskey than wine kind of guy, but like, 
Alcohol is not really my thing. I'm not a big fan of psychoactives of any kind. Alcohol included. So... That's kind of how that is. Hold. I said stop. Thank you. Collect. You run a freighter, only run. It's quite fun. Yeah, I'm at, I am. I am thoroughly enjoying this. I am thoroughly enjoying this. So I'm not complaining at all. So much iron just all over the place. Excellent. More iron. I like just demolishing the asteroids. Collect. <laughs> you did your run with one big weapon in the front, like 45 storages in the back. That's what we did with the vacuum. It was the Roomba of Doom. Complete with a Death Star. We are going to have so much iron out of this. So much steel. Here we go. They just immediately turn it all into steel. Release these very quickly. We uh, don't have enough persons to move things fast enough with what's going on here. We can't put things into the uh, steel creation facility fast enough. Back to the station. I'm gonna turn this into a shipyard. First, we sell the things that we cannot use, namely the uranium. Uh, the iron is in the process of being used. Don't know that we need to purchase more enriched uranium, but we'll purchase this tri steel. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> Xavius. I discovered that the six to nine difficulty zones will have flankers. My yeah. Ship is a very literal case of yeah. everything is on fire. <laughs> Make sure you cover your AFTS out there, kids. Hope oh, you enjoy no. this run. Yeah, the uh, they'll do that. They will absolutely do that. It's um, a mite concerning. Okay, so this... I want to adjust the front of this. So we can just purchase this outright. Uh, so let's do that. And then blueprints. I want to have the spiky front because it should help us against disruptors. So we do this, and then this. This should... Why? Oh, it's in the exclusion zone. We can't do the spiky front. Not until we get a... Not until we get bigger, which is fine, I suppose. Um... This actually makes me want to do a, um, this actually makes me want to do a, um, an asymmetrical lineup. I 
longer spikes. If we do longer spikes, then we're going to have to... If we do longer spikes, then we'll have to... Um, move the shield forward in order to... Add the space necessary. Because it has to be like this. Which means we need to do... This. Which... Might very well be worth it. Although this will explode very quickly because it is so far in front of the th of the uh, of the ship. Which means you move this forward. You probably need to move this and this as well. Now we're just moving the entire vessel forward, and these are very limited in their defenses now. very limited in their defenses now. Um, I suppose we could flatten this out a little bit. Like so. And shift all of this forward a bit. Like this. We can move these beds here. This is going to be a problem because this is no longer connectable. So we still have to do this. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I do not like this at all. Uh, this the spike poke the guy uh, poke out the shield a bit. Anything in front of the shield goes down extraordinarily quickly. Um, I guess I could move the railgun back deeper in instead. Uh, that would mean okay, let's just remove this, this, like this, which could give me a bit more space to play with. So if we leave the shields here, we don't want these here anymore. That's going to cause a problem. So I could do this and then have this here like so. That is much more workable. Okay, so this goes directly to here, here. So we don't need this here at all. Which is nice. So now we're going to deal with these thrusters. Okay, I think we move the thrusters in a bit. If this is the case. Something like this. These are still a concern. Do I move them forward and remove this? I think so. Because I can do this, and we just have any amount of armor in front of this here. I'm still a bit concerned about its uh, strafing capabilities, but... It will have to do, I suppose. Okay, so we still have all this space here. This can be in part for crew. Uh, let's do crew here. This is going to be such a weak point, man. These thrusters are also still very far away from energy. 
Oh, I needed this to be... This was supposed to be storage space, which is convenient. And we needed... We wanted two more beds. I don't think we need these, but I wanted them. Just in case. The reverse thrusters are still ridiculously far from the... Uh, from the energy production. But this is approximately the same size. Notably more defended. I think good on doors. Definitely good on crew. Okay, hello there, Cronian. Capacitors for the thrusters? I'd rather not. Hmm. Here's the thing. Anytime you build a ship where the spine is the main target, it's going to get hit by disruptors. Which is a problem. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I like to have offsets around the center. But that doesn't really work here. Hmm. Why is railgun so small? Because it's a light rail ship. Okay, so this is look going to be a bit better, I think. There's a little bit more ammo storage as well, which is a convenience. Uh, ammunition goes here. We, this is technically cheaper as well, so it's, it is smaller, which is convenient, although I'm concerned about the... Uh, I am concerned about the... Uh, oh, we didn't have... We need a hatch and a... Uh, fire extinguisher which honestly may not help us too much given given the context uh, let's go ahead and add this here just any amount of additional armor is going to be good i like a, any amount of additional armor please So we get hit in the sides, like this is a direct shot right into our core. Okay, well, this is about what we're going to get. Uh, so let's do this. I probably destroyed the paint job. Oh yeah, it's all gone. Uh, so let's fix that. Let's change the color on this. Uh, let's do... You can do green. I'm a green and blue this time. Have it a darker green. I like this green. Racing stripes. Nope. No, no. I know. I want racing stripes. There we go. So for here, we can do this and then. Uh, well, well, okay. I've already goofed. We're on the wrong layer. Because I need base paints. Gets to be something like this. Is that a little bit more blue to it. Can we get another set of shields? We can do a lot of things. Uh, do I want... How much saturation do I want? Saturation. Probably less saturation. And then here we can do the actual green color. I like the green, the soft colors. Okay. There we go. Alright. 
to have a proper here and then a single line like this followed by decal 2 um, let's go straight to decal 3 where we do the shadowing easy there we go that's looking sharp uh, noticing some artifacting on this side here can I fix that with this is the question by going solid where's solid where's solid none of this is solid the, oh, oh I see uh, can I copy this copy color Paste color, thank you. Uh, wrong color. Copy color. Paste color. What happens if I do do this? Uh oh, I can't see it. That didn't help. Um. Hmm. Two things. One, we fix the symmetry of this. Uh, so we are missing this. Okay. Two. We go back to here. It's already got the paint job. Good. It, it kept it. Okay, so that's just that's just how that works then. Okay, so we'll leave that there. So now our vessel looks like this. It's actually pretty. I'm okay with that. And then we save. Save ship. We'll go. Light rail 1.1. That can't possibly go wrong. And we have another vessel here to play with. Now, how close are we to getting? another one of these. Ooh, just missing tri-steel and we've got the money for it, but the station doesn't have enough tri-steel and doesn't have enough uh, uranium. Uh, so I think that's going to be a goal right here. Uh, let us see if we can't... How much crew do we get? Uh, we can get a few more crew. We can get a lot more crew. We can we can field both of these. Um, I don't see any of these creatures nearby, so we're going to go shopping. Try steel, all of it. Uranium, all of it. Uh, let us sell 900 steel. No, no, no not sell 900 steel until we know that we can well that thing purchased the tri-steel and the uranium while it was here so uh that's unfortunate we're going next to the hole the uh, what That looks powered to me. Oh, while we're here, let's have this compartment power. This. Like that is that is your job. Do this. No, 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 no. You're going to need to do separate groups. Because it will still hop off and do... Okay, so that's not... Thoughts for later. Okay.
There's no triastyl here. There's no uranium here. Those are the two things we need. And so let us simply eject. Oh, hello. Package distributor. The one crew on it has no things that I desire. Uh, so let's go mining once more. Source management. After we eject all. All of this steel goes away. And did any of you guys bring goodies that I need? Try steel. Yes, yes, you did. Let us collect this. And I'll sell you my hyperspace fuel, because I don't have much of that. Okay. Collect try steel. Good. Does the station have any new goodies now? Because I've been here for any amount of seconds. More tri-steel and... Alright, well, too rich for my blood. Uh, let's sell... We don't have anything left to sell. No, okay. How close are we to getting another one of these now? We are missing. We've got the tri-steel, we just need the uranium, which is present. We just need the money for it. So let's go. We also need steel. Oh my god, we're still missing we're missing steel after all this. Okay. All right. Well, that's my cue to go harvesting for more steel. Oh look, asteroid field. What do you reject instead of selling to the station? Because why would I want to sell it to the station? That's my question. Reharvest to collect the steel we need for the next ship. Need a ship graveyard? I could do with a ship graveyard, yes. There may very well be one over here somewhere. We've only explored a part of the uh, of the current star system. Honestly, if I wanted to go through this faster, I could have just gone military to begin with. But I'm having I'm actually having fun with the uh, with the mining system. Like it's actually satisfying. Harvest. The test go. Next. Give me more iron. I'm going to need more crew anyway, so I should invest in additional crew. Probably first. As I'm going to need them. In fact, let's go do that because that's going to take... That's going to really um, alleviate some of our... A lot of our... Uh, gathering concerns. Half the cost of the ship is in enriched. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. 
You ever tried mining this song? You need big shielded attractive thing, but the asteroids are huge and all the good materials. Uh, honestly, I've never even thought about that. I didn't even notice that there was uh, potential asteroids in there. Um, like, I honestly hadn't even looked that deeply into it. Still so much iron here. So good. Okay, let's just um, temporarily, I say temporarily, let's just slap some additional crew into here. Uh, like this. So, put some doors on you, and a couple of airlocks here. I'll just make do right now. And from here, we can sell some of our steel. Minus 500. That's almost all of our steel, which is not ideal. But from here, we should be able to pick up a lot of crew. It's not a lot of crew, but we're able to pick them up anyways. This will massively help with our mining speed. And slow us down, notably. Still here, it's beautiful. Mining the sun sounds fun. <laughs> I I'm entirely unfamiliar with anything that goes on near the sun, the st primary star of the system. Why did I walk why did I fly past that like four times? So our power issues are solved. Isn't it pretty just vacuum up, vacuuming up every asteroid, one asteroid at a time? I like how our original crew is somehow still alive despite losing an entire vessel. Just like in its entirety. All hands on deck. add melee weapons. Uh, from what I understand, they are adding uh, boarding, which is almost the same thing. That's kind of sort of melee, right? Not like ship-to-ship -ship ramming, or maybe they will have something like that alongside it. It's like, how do you board? You ram the ship and stab your ship rammer into it, and it injects people. Have a good one out there, who's what. Catch you next time. Happy hunting, yes.
That's one thing I like about this game. It's just so relaxing. Satisfying in all the right ways. Okay, and we will go this way, harvest all the, the minerals. Along the asteroid belt. I'm probably going to go check on the sun at some point, because while we won't be able to go into the uh, close... We won't be able to go close enough to harvest much, I imagine... Uh, we might be able to at least see what's going on there, which would be interesting because I've never seen in there. Or we just wait until we see at sensors and I can get a good look. Probably a better idea. You can build a flying spinning blade when it comes out. Oh no. Spinners are actually a fairly strong type of creature that you can build. And that the double mining laser, it's so fast. Yes. We're actually getting to the point where we're starting to feed, we're starting to uh, feed the processor faster than it can uh, properly smelt things, which is nice. Not that it's backing up due to uh, smelting speed, but because we're not mining nearly fast enough for that. still diggy diggy oh yes partially mined this bit of the asteroid belt So many asteroids just going down the center lane here. With enough motivation, anything is a melee weapon. True. You like the ram and drill philosophy to mining? Yes. It works. Collect everything, wait for everyone to come back inside, and then move on while things process. While the dudes process the goodies. Next. We brought the corpse of the last asteroid with us. This is a Tritanium asteroid, which means it's made out of money. What are you? Baron. Devoid of life. So what we do is steal here, and this causes them to uh, reorganize and condense, and then we steal here because they're still not reorganized and condensed. Then we have plenty of space to work with. Then we do the same thing here for the same reasons. Go collect, put it here. Nice. All right, so now we have like all the space in the world to collect these things. Sweet. You're very interested in seeing with getting deep into dark time for the pre release. Starts in four days? No, not four days, is it? No, no, no. That starts in. It's five. So that would be Thursday? I need to look at the date again. 
I guess four days depending on where you live. Because it's already tomorrow for me. So that counts as four days, yeah? Or does a day end when you're actually unconscious? If a day ends when you're unconscious, then I most certainly have uh, lived fewer days than most. That looks like a rare asteroid. It was. Excellent. Oh, there's just so much here. Like, I could just do this probably literally all day means I need to stop at some point. But like, there's just so much here. The desire to consume. Harvest. You have carbon refining? I do not have carbon refining. <laughs> not sure what classes you want to roll first. You, you enjoyed Psyker and Zillet a lot. I suspect Psyker is, um... I suspect Psyker will be that thing where one te where every team needs one of them, but like more than one is just asking for trouble. On the other hand, uh, Zealot seems like that class where you can always have another. That's we're just going to leave that there. We're just going to pretend I know how to spell words. The factory must grow. Yes. Okay. I mean, I'm okay with this. Like, I'm very okay with this. All right, so we need this guy. 18K, which is not going to be enough for that. Plus 9K, let's... I think I need 400 steel. I'll keep 500 here. I feel like that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Um, let's try it anyways. Well, for one, let's fly you over here so you can re-injure this. Uh, two. Slap this guy with the uh, light rail. Still missing nine enriched uranium. Uh, 20 coils or whatever, but nine enriched uranium. Give me this. Nine hundred uranium. Uh, yeah, we're still missing more. Bye. I didn't want to talk to you, anyways. Okay. Uh, so if nine enriched uranium is missing, let me double check this again because things changed because the ship showed up. We are still missing. Thirteen to sixteen, so we're still missing three enriched uranium. Uh, in terms of steel, we have. We can sell a few hyper coils, sell a few processors. But if I sell the processors, I won't be able to do quick hit hot swapping of things, which may be okay. You have no enriched uranium, so you're not going to be selling any. Okay, so out we go again. Uh, this time, I can't purchase the enriched uranium anyways, but I can actually do so if I sell hypercoils. Fine, one. I don't have hypercoils to sell. 
I ejected them. Uh, let's dump about 400 steel here because that's how much we need to eject. Run, but this time it'll be for selling things and we can try to collect we can stop by other stations see if we can't collect uh see if we can't collect uh some more sell there see if we can collect some more enriched uranium as we travel up along the way and then we'll have two rails which we should be able to use to flank things and actually get things done because the one tiny rail is insufficient to break through shields with any regularity. Are you selling or smelting tritanium? We are selling, which I completely forgot to do. Um, yikes, but we're already here, so we'll have to come back to that later. can always come through here for copper again if we want more monies. I guess we're not. We have capital that we can liquidate if we need emergency monies. I'm more concerned about not having access to the material to begin with. We're basically, uh, basically out here waiting for the station to restock. I can go visit the other station. See if we can't restock it, or see if it isn't already restocked. Not that the other station is notable for having anything at all. I guess at this point it's got a reputation for not having anything. What happened here? Someone had a bad day. Uh, let's harvest. This was probably me. I'll be real. This was probably me. Would better thrusters be... allow for more speed? I mean, yes... We're going to be here a hot minute. Oh, boys. I wish we could build a Dyson Sphere. But well, we know a game where that's quite uh, quite the objective. And um, it's getting an update soonish, I think, next year, actually. Q1 next year, I think, was the release expectation. And we are going to be on that one. all over that one. We are already leaving iron ore just around. Oh god, we're gonna have to do so much processing here. This is fine. We are maxing the speed of the uh, iron smeltery. Fortunately, we can immediately unmax it just by having these guys go out to harvest. <laughs> Watching mining leaves is so cathartic. They really are. They really are. I, I, I know you guys wanted a uh, mining stream after we did the vacuum 
the Doomba, the Roomba of Doom, but I'm I'm having fun with this. I, I tended to go military again because you know why else? Cosmic is just so good at that, but I'm enjoying this more than I expected. Way more than I expected. We could make some more storages. My problem isn't lack of storages. I've got plenty of storage space. If you notice, all the storage space is here. Problem is I have all these storages restricted so that they aren't allowed to use. They aren't allowed to uh, put iron ore here. Which I just don't care to fix because in a few seconds the processing finishes. And then we have all the space all over again. Ta-da! Moving on. We've harvested that entire asteroid and still have lots of available room to hold more things. Is that a steel factory? It is a steel... Oh my god, there's another giant asteroid out here. This one will probably fill us up. Like, actually, though. I'm going to need that. Uh, that steel processing plant is going to be active for quite some time. Hey, I'm glad you enjoy, Hunter. The mining lasers remind you of having a good digging wand on Noita and cutting your way to all the gold. Oh no. Look at them process. Look at them go. The little worker ants. Processing everything. Yeah. Yeah, this is... This is a good game. This is a very good game. Let us head over to... The, I don't even want to head over to that station. It's just a disaster every time. Like, every single time. There's so much material in every single in every solar system. No enemies so far? We have just shy of exterminated every hostile in this in, in this area, uh, this entire solar system. There's a few left, notably some particularly um, dangerous ones, but well, that's their, their time is limited. Look how much activity this station gets. It's beautiful. You've been looking for this game, but you couldn't remember the name. Well, I'm glad you found it. Alright then, uh, most of this steel just gets sold. Do minus two. I almost put a K in there. Just initiate trade. Grab one enriched uranium, update trade. Sell all the tritanium, all the carbon. Update trade. Alright, let us talk to you. Pause. 
you have no uranium. Up top to you, package distributor. Yes. I don't need this much, I'm gonna grab it anyways. Okay. What that means, we come over here and we do one of this button. That should encompass everything that we need. And we do load place existing at light wheel 1.1. And this costs us 1,000 monies in its entirety. All right. Great, uh, let's harvest this. There shouldn't be much left here. There is not, it's just some hyper coils and stuff. All right then, uh, let's transfer resources from here to literally either one of them. Initiate transfer. Yikes, all right. You need crew first before anything happens. All right, this is getting to annoy me here. Um, but this is the name is just not right. Okay, there we go. Name fixed. Uh, but first, we transfer crew. Light rail, all 16. There we go. And now we need additional crew. We cannot communicate because there's no crew here. We send transfer crew to collect unnamed ship. Awesome. We leave one over here just in case of emergency. Uh, you. Well, 1.1. Can we rename you? Is the, this is just not going to be a rename button. Hmm. There is a name button. Of type light rail. LR 1.1. We'll go with. Paladin 1 LR 1.1 U Paladin 2 LR 1.1 Now that needs to be spelled out. All right. Hello there, King Benjai. Welcome, welcome. You got internet that's at 900 Mbps up and down? Uh, okay. Unexpected. Uh, let me see how much crew we can hire here. We're maxed. All right, so first off, let's fill your ammunition reserves. We get 200 rounds on this. I should fill it up. There we go. You, ammunition. Collect 206 ammos. All right. So now, how fast does these things actually go? 55. Not amazing. It's not the worst thing I've seen either. All right. Worst case scenario, we die horribly. Uh, let's go inspect this here. Turn on a bounty here. 
Yours is only 600-ish, 650 up down. It's the up part that gets me. I can understand down. Like, that's fairly normal. But up? That's... That's just not normal. Like, at all. It's so rare. Even for... Even for, um... What is it called? Why does this not have the paint job? I don't understand. I want the paint job. Um, if I select paint... No, paint editor. Save paint scheme. Save ship design. Okay. Can I paste it here now? Load paint scheme. Well... Now we need to do a proper, I can't see, it's too far, there we go, it's a little bit of rail penetration here, ah, we lost contact. This is the layout we want. Right as I want to click, save attack defaults. Okay. We should be able to go. Now. Now we can do shenanigans with this. Because we have ostensibly a fleet. This is probably a station, isn't it? They should be formations. None. I hope. Yeah, so this is a station. So we just aim front and center. There is some point defense here, but that does not particularly matter. I mean, it matters a little bit, but not all that much. <laughs> Did they fix the, uh, the state rescue the station cheese? No. before they were in range. Okay. Nice. We may need to have them ordered to be a little bit closer. Uh, but here we should be clearing this asteroid field without too much of a problem. Although this has nothing to do with the two of us doing anything exceptional. These are some uncommonly weak creatures that we are facing. They do fire a little early, but that's not something I can affect. Took the cockpit out. Alright, so this is where something can get a little hairy. In fact, let's have you guys set up here. Let's have two go here, three go here. Pre-split. Engage. So if it chases one, it should automatically go backwards while the other rotates around. Yeah, so it's being chased here, so this guy's going to get side shots. And these will naturally split as we sunder its sides. At least until an asteroid gets in the way. Alright. There we go. Looks like the one in front is just going to do enough damage. Uh, asteroid. Okay. 
Okay. Ta-da! Area clear. I don't know if this had any ammo. It did not. And there's not really much here left to harvest anyways. Alright, nice. There's a pack bounty over here, which is concerning. Uh, how much ammo do we have in reserve? We've actually gone through notable chunks. Um... We can stop by the station real quick because we've already cleared out all of this. Hello? What are you? Uh, let's come in from the... Hello. Oh, we're getting into this getting ganked territory now. Fortunately, I've come equipped with my own gang squad. All right. Okay, come on. not firing. Like, actually, though. Okay. He's actually got an intact reactor. Dead ship. I don't much care for the basic materials because we can always harvest that, but things like the reactor core is very interesting to me. I don't know what this is, but I want to find out. Uh, how are we on ammo? I should have checked that before giving the attack command. Uh, this guy has missiles. We don't have point defense. But we do have energy shields. And this sucker does not have... Alright, there's a lot of cannons. How are you looking in terms of... I think we get another shot here. I think you specifically turn to engage this. back all the way up here. Okay, you turn to engage this now, which is rather unfortunate. Nope. We are getting surrounded once more. Fire. Turn to engage, one down. We are starting to run low on the ammunition. Our forward plating has done the good work of holding. Okay, turn to engage. Here we are running a bit low on the ammunition. That's a heavy hit. Fire, please. Ooh.
masterfully flying backwards. This one not chasing particularly well. Oh, a clean over penetration. Love to see it. And this vessel is still faster than us. Uh, fortunately, we have the armor to take the hit. We might get back to the nope. This guy a master class in piloting. We are completely out of ammo here. Uh oh. No, okay. Two things. One. Here. Two. Rotate. Two. Rotate. Two. Rotate. I swear. Okay. There we go. Uh, we need to keep this intact. We're going to lose some persons here, which is rather unpleasant. Let's rotate slightly less. Alright. Um, if I can adjust here... Be good. Ooh. Ooh, we our main reactor is out of our Oh, we've been disconnected. This is going to be massive damage here. Unless you can catch up and deal critical damage on top to its rear. Because you've got like two shots left, I think. Or maybe it's one. Our energy shields are holding despite all of this, which is amazing to me. Um we don't get a one-shot kill here. Maybe we do. Oh, it turns around. Okay, then. Uh, let's back up over here. We are going to need a rescue operation off of this guy. So Harvester comes over here, please. Oh. We don't have enough crew to power. That's understandable. Power and you and ammunition. I think that's your last shot. It's probably your last shot. So please go this way. Of all things to run of all things, running out of ammo. I think we can get away if we just run straight here. Nope. Is it coming for us is the question, because we are technically still alive. Alright, so you need to communicate with this. Turn this in. Convenient. Is this in combat still? No. But it does not have the necessary equipment to repair. Much of anything, really. Uh oh. Can we add a door here? If we can. It should give us mobility. It does. Back to base. We seem to have lost control of the other vessel entirely, even off the hotkey. Well. I stayed a little far away from the munitions plants, and that has cost me the ability to fire the weapons, and thus the, uh, hmm. Okay. This guy does have some substantial amounts of stuff in it. So we should just be able to hop over here to repair. Uh, while we're here, we do have an operational vessel. Let's see if we can't find... Ah! It was not merciful. Okay. I see. Welp. It, uh... Fired everything until there was nothing left. We were doing so well until we ran out of ammo. Okay. We harvest. I 
don't think there's going to be much goods here to harvest, though, is the problem, because it, it took the time to um, absolutely destroy everything. Which is rather unpleasant. So who did we lose? <laughs> hey, Jonathan's still alive here. And who did we lose here? Oh, Jonathan is the only left remaining of the original crew. Oh no. Sadness. Can make a support ship? I mean, that's what we've got here. A support ship. Um, support ship doesn't help if you don't, you know, bring it along or any ammunition for your weapons, which was the problem I had. We have enough ammo to clear a couple engagements, but I, I went through too many, and that just cost me... That's That was a huge setback. Like, a huge setback. It's, um... That's entirely on me. We had more than enough ability to handle everything there. Just, um... I elected to get a little... A little, uh... Yikes. Come on, you're coming. Alright. Can we repair you? We are missing tri steel. Big shock. Let's get all the basic steel fixed up because that's not going to be difficult. It's the, uh, the railgun. Ooh. So technically, we can go into debt for that, which we'd rather not do. Uh, I think especially, we can just do this. Can we repair you now? No, because we don't have the tri-steel. Where is the tri steel? Not here. Where is the tri steel? Not here. At all. At least the station seems to have a lot of things, but tri steel isn't one of them. Tri steel. Yes, here we go. Was that enough tri steel? It was. Alright, we're back in working order. We can get one military vessel here. Uh, unfortunately, due to the sudden lack of tri-steel, uh, there is no way for us to get a second one of these attacker vessels here in the uh, near future. We are both out of money and out of material in every way. Uh, so that's a hard yikes. Uh, actually, we're kind of out of ammunition as well, which we saw that one coming. So let's just sell... Five of our process. I don't want to sell the processors. Because if I sell the processors and I can't convert to the uh, other types of... I can't convert to the other types of uh, material processors. Build a DDG for support. If you manage to build any vessel for under 1,000 monies, um, I would be impressed. Uh, I think actually we just go sell everything here, yeah? Except for maybe some of the coils. Keep the hyper coils as well. Because those are always useful. Do I just want to... I think we splurge on getting copper and... I think I re-skirt. I think we get multiple loadouts here. So we do coils and steel.
and then hypercoils. Nope, not hypercoils. So we can do copper and steel in here. This we can just have running. And then from here, we need to clear all this. And we do... From here, you guys go out, you go literally everywhere. No, 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 no. Two things. A couple things. Back here, blueprint mode. This needs to rotate. That's not the rotate button. This needs to rotate here. This needs to rotate here. Okay. And now we do this. So it's copper goes here, iron goes here, and then these go to literally everywhere else. And this, same thing. Okay. Excellent. So, my concern is that there is... That was just a renegade pirate flying around. Um, my concern is that if I come out here with this guy, we're going to be in trouble. I can at least distract with this. Although it's out of ammunition. Uh, let's, let's go fix that real quick. Fill you up. No more running out of ammo. You can take most things in a 1v1 at this point. Thank you. Why am I getting money? Okay. Moving on. Alright, so we've got this asteroid field here. I'm not convinced it's safe, so I'll be having the paladin sit over here guarding it. But copper and iron are on the docket. So we harvest all the things. so many critical errors. Like I've had all the resources, all the options, and I've squandered it every time. We have lost, like, fully and crew two entire ships, which included Tri-Steel. Oh, Lord. These things do strafe pretty all right. Um, I think I need to have these adjusted in their positions, though. They don't strafe particularly well. Can you fit armor f ammo factories in the Paladin? I'd rather not, given the opportunity. Or given the option. Already have a good one out there, Persona. <laughs> Push the space station into the sun and get all the free load. Actually, actually, though, <laughs> there's a lot of civvy flights going through here. Is that down here? It's down here. Okay. 
There's a lot of civilian flights. It probably means there aren't pirates around. Because the pirates tend to not like the civilians, and the civilians tend to not like the pirates. There's not going to be much in these platforms that are, that are worth obtaining. So I'll pick them up anyways. We can already... We're already creating everything that's here. Yeah, okay. Um, just random hostile flying around this environment. <laughs> they don't even get angry if you don't shoot. I know! That's what makes it that's what makes it uh particularly cheesy, yeah. These mining lasers are so energy hungry. It's going, we're, we're going to have to spend some time just processing. Because, uh... Oh, I see what's happening. I didn't set these appropriately. So they are not processing at all. That's explaining why we have so much raw material lying around. Alright, um, now we gotta wait for it to process because uh, it hasn't been processing this whole time. Yikes. is that we process quite quickly. Although the limiting factor here is still humans and not the factories. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night, Slates. Catch you later. We're going to be here in a moment. Fact. Nah. Very tempted, but no. storage and teleport all the resources to another storage. This is true, yes. In fact, doing it specifically with this one would be a good idea, because it's going to teleport it there by necessity. 100% refund, so that's just speed. And then we collect. Zoom, zoom. And isn't it so satisfying to watch all the collection happening? Mm -hmm. uh, let's do the deletion trick once more. Because it teleports it there, then back here. Just gotta make sure to put the door back. We're gonna have trouble. This is so much steel. 
You just had your ship burn up with as many explosions along the way. Oh no. That's what fire... Oh, I mean, there's only one way to learn about fire extinguishers, eh? It's reading and preventing it from before it actually starts. And then you, you ignore it and you explode in burning fire anyways. Carbon. Small carbon. Smaller carbon. more iron. I'm not out here specifically mining iron. It's just what I'm finding. I'm okay with this. And off we go. Next. I'm aware there is still this dead ship over here, but it seems to be mildly patrolled, and I don't want to get that close to it. This is remnant bits of the uh, yeah, of the other other creature that we obliterated. Drooling away the asteroid by accident. Collateral damage. Uh, do I? I don't want the ammo. I just, I just don't care. Oh gosh, that's a large asteroid. That's a huge amount of iron. Okay. Looks like we're getting pretty full here, so we collect this, and I think we can manage to amalgamate some of these and give us the storage space we need to collect this. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're back to station. Bum, ba -dum, ba -da -da -dum. How's the old asteroid eating real gun making going? Um, the asteroid bit's going well. I keep doing dumb things and getting my rail gunners killed, so we have to rebuild them every time. We've lost too many at this point. Last one was lost because it ran out of ammo because I was like, ah, it's just one more ship. We'll be fine. It was not one more ship. It was like three, and we eliminated two of the, the ships, and the third one just gunned us down because it was faster than us, and we couldn't get away. And we didn't have any ammo to shoot back. And that's how that went. Um, <clears throat> so, uh... Yikes. Minus 1,000. That many coils. We've got 21 in uranium, which is good. So the carbon. It's the tri-steel we need to make another vessel. Okay. We should immediately be producing more steel, yes. Uh, so, I need to know how much material each one of these costs. I don't know that it says. I vaguely remember it saying somewhere how much it costs. 1,200 steel, six t two processors, 10 tri-steel. So we're missing the tri-steel. It only costs 54 hyper coils, 118. All right, so if I have... I've got in... I need two more process... No, no, so I'm just missing... Tri I'm missing 10 tri-steel. I'm missing 10 dry steel and 273 coils. I'm confused. It says the total cost is 118 coils, but it's missing 273 coils. Hmm. 
one of these things is not like the other. Okay. <sighs> I just want to know how much the blueprint costs to create. How does it need 10? I'm missing 10 when I have 6. Okay. Either way, we're missing tri steel. And coils. I don't need this much steel. I can sell an additional 500. Does it say here what it costs? It doesn't say here what it costs. It doesn't say here, okay. Really wish it did say the material cost of these things. Okay, so I'm still missing. Okay, so I need. So I am missing six tri steel. So now it costs 14 tri steel. I'm missing six tri steel. Alright, so let's go purchase the remnant six tri steel off of this guy. So now I should be missing more tri steel, right? Got it all. I just need the monies. Uh, the coil and tri steel are the things that I'm missing. So I could go make some more coils. Let's just purchase this now. Load the paint job onto it because that never saves. Design. There we go. And um, now we need crew and monies. Uh, so we need crew and a fairly substantial amount of crew. So let's go get some more money for said crew. And go harvest the rest of these. Because so shows exactly what it costs. I'm aware of that, except it doesn't show what it costs. It shows what it costs minus what it which you're purchasing. Which is um, not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for what it costs. And unfortunately, the total cost also doesn't show its total cost. It shows what you are missing. Which is it shows uh, what you have minus what you need. Or it's Yes, which is not, also not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the total requirement, total cost of the vessel. Honestly, last time I did this, this style of play, I came to the conclusion that I shouldn't do, I shouldn't play like this until after I've gotten until like difficulty five, because attempting to build multiple vessels in lower difficulties is just a mistake. But I wanted to do it anyways, and I'm paying the price because a single mistake is a death. And I have made way too many mistakes. Like, way too many mistakes.
Ooh, more uranium. You're made out of money. Mm. We have a combat vessel nearby. I appreciate having both of these ones. It's so much more convenient. Hello? Pilot error? You love how you just bonk the asteroid the way. I know, there's no collision damage. It's great. It's actually quite fun to watch all the uh, the bumper ships. Now, where was that gargantuan iron? That's not it. Let's grab this copper while I'm here. Ooh, that's a lot of copper, actually. Well, many copper asteroids was to be determined if it's a lot of copper. Bandit a crew member? Uh, you sure about that? Because, uh, still sitting on 24. Pilot error flashbacks to the Fort Ships tournament today. Oh yeah, there was a fair, fairly substantial amount of that. This Fort Ships is quite difficult to control. You need 10 tri-steel, it's all good? No, 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 I don't need 10 tri-steel. I know for a fact the ship costs 20 because I've that's the number I specifically needed in order to craft it the first time. And I counted... I need 20 tri-steel, not 10, but it says 10, which is the confusing part. You are not going to be able to harvest this entire asteroid without doing some serious uh, revamping. This is, I think, long enough that our mining drills, mining beams can't actually reach all the way to the end. Oh, oh yeah, they can, and by a fairly notable margin. Okay. So much iron, oh yeah. Yes, we are going to be here a while. As we disintegrate apparently the entire asteroid in the process. Do, 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 do. I like watching it just get cleaned, sweeped from left to right. This is, this is satisfying. This is very satisfying. And then we process. We go slide into the middle here. We are going to have to come back to this asteroid because we are not going to be able to hold all of this in one spot. Collect. Um, let's assist with this process real quick. We transfer crew literally half. Small point defense platform. What? Oh, hello. Come back for you later. Uh, to the harvester. Actually, just all of you.
we can hang out there for a bit. I think what I'm going to do here is temporarily remove this. We can fit some uh, iron in here, and for the sake of sanity, we have a door right here. Here we go. Look how quickly it goes through all of this. So this is another storage done. Okay, yeah, we're not... We're not playing with that. Okay. No more are we helping with this. You, sir, your job is stay here. You guys mine at whatever speed you are mining. Harvest? Guess we're doing some manual sorting here. Let's head on. Uh, we've still got some room here. Let's go harvest this guy. This guy's made out of goodies. Harvest you. Should get some actual uranium out of that, yeah. Probably. Alright, come back. Poor paladin one. If I can get three of these, we should be able to get rid of most things by virtue of... I guess it depends on how fast it is, but... Should be able to get rid of most things. Alright. Now, Chase, thank you. Honestly, if we can get up to like 65 meters per second, that would be... I'd be far more comfortable. So we sell, uh, we've got two vessels, I think we're not going to really get a third in this system. I have to go to a higher tier system. Uh, but for now, let's do minus 2,000. We'll keep these, enrich uranium, we'll keep, sell gold and uranium. That gets us some good money. And this can also get us some crew. So we're at about maximum crew now. So we can transfer crew to unnamed ship, X-16. All right. Hey, and we're back. All right, so you need some uh, ammunition. We are back in business. Ammunition reserves, yes. You've got the requisite paint job, yes. Uh, you need a name. Paladin 3. Light rail. 1.1.1. Okay. I... Nope. It's fine. It's fine. All right, then. That should be good for these. You need your control group. There we go. Okay, so we do... This guy will technically still work, though not particularly well. Uh, we have one and a two. And that is looking pretty solid here. Very solid here. 
And that is... Hmm. How do we want to handle this? Because we still have the, the, the pirate bases to do. We still have this guy and this guy to do. So what I'm going to do is do Iron Man 1, save. And what we're going to have to do is, I'm, I'm actually going to have to wind down this stream here, as it has been a great live stream. But what we're going to do is we'll come back on Wednesday, right before the, right before the Dark Tide release, and we're going to have a blast with this carrying on. But for now, let us go ahead and send you guys over to another RTS gamer that I know. Maybe get some dark time with him a little bit later. But for now, have a good one, everyone. Let's see how he reacts. It looks like he's in the middle of doing something co-op related, which is going to be hilarious. I can only imagine. Coming in here, edging in on giant grand games. <laughs> All right. Let us kick this one off, shall we? Let's see how he reacts, if at all. Lord knows, I'm going to be getting, uh, I'm going to go make myself some food. Probably a salad. I've been craving a salad. I've got salad making it cereal. I'm gonna go do that. And I'll be hanging out in chat for a while. Oh, Lord. All right, so what has he got going on here? He's the Phoenix Commander. Everything's so cheap. This looks co-op. This just looks like co-op. I don't recognize the specific mission. Labs. He's got to be doing some kind of challenge. Thank you, Incursus, for the raid. How you doing? What are you playing today? Challenge attempt? Challenging myself to actually hit level 15 on more than like two commanders. <laughs> That's fair. Which I have a salad. Uh, I'll be using Italian salad dressing. And seeing what random cues are like. What flavor of Darren? What? No, it says Zerg though. Is it infested Terrans? Oh, jeez. Cosmeteer Iron Man. Soon, whether you're there or Was that mean no loading? Like, it's so easy for your ship to just blow up with just a single round to your reactor. Doesn't seem very... I mean, you gotta get good. You gotta get real good. But anyways, guys, I'll be hanging out in chat for a while. If you guys want to hang out with